Yay, that looks like that's working. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and this is our Sunday night live stream, which you uh, may or may not be hearing in a moment because I've just spent the last hour trying to sort out my microphone. So let me know in the comments is the uh, audio coming through okay? Is there a obvious lag or anything like that? I've got a new capture card and I had the drivers for the old one, etc., etc., and it was all bit of a kerfuffle and that looks like it's buffering but maybe it's okay who knows <laughs> it's okay question 42 audio is fine thank you so oh, we've got quite a few people in the chat already so let's say a quick few hellos to everybody who's joining us and uh Say some hellos to those that aren't here as well, because if they're not here, well, we can quite freely talk about them if you know who I mean. So we've got uh, Kev from Click Tech. Actually, if you haven't seen Kev's channel, check him out. Click on his name, check his channel out. He does some great stuff, and uh, yeah, it's very, very well put together videos. Quite impressive. So we've got Ryan P in the house, we've got C McKnight in the house, Nazim, Craig Pello. Shan Khan, I think that's pronounced right. If it's not, I do apologize. Yep, click text just classed 3K. Just classed. I haven't had a drop, honestly. And hello to Caleb as well. Hope you're all having a great Sunday evening or Monday morning or Sunday morning, I guess, depending where in the world you are. Let us know in the comments where are you all from. I got I know where Kev's from, it's somewhere slightly north of Gloucester. And C. McKnight is over in, well, I shouldn't say really, but somewhere where they have dragons. <laughs> um, I said it right, awesome, excellent. Ryan P's got a question already. Are you giving away the AirPods? Yes, I certainly am. I'm not sure which ones yet, but no doubt my trusty assistant, Kath, who's sitting over there behind the camera, will uh, guide me and tell me what the heck I'm supposed to be doing, because I am an idiot, let's face it. I mess up most things, so I'm probably gonna make a mess up of this, and I'll probably end up giving you a Busycom calculator instead of a set of AirPods. And this is actually from Sports Direct. You can get those in Sports Direct stores near you. <laughs> um, Nazim. Oh, Nazim had a question. Okay, we'll, uh, Nazim, we'll definitely get onto that. May not do it straight away, but I'll definitely get on and answer your question. Now, I think that was a question regarding a new Athlon 200 GE build, no? AirPods model. Oh. Do you have any idea? Do I have any? Sorry, I'm answering the completely wrong question. Kath has put me right. So, what was it, the V8? Model AirPods. Which one? The V8? I'll have, to, I'll have to scroll back up. It just says, do you have any idea about AirPod V8 model? Um, well, the question is, do I know anything about AirPod V8 model? So if you're referring to those, that's a i88 TWS V8 model. Um, yeah, I actually did a review on those, which you can check out if you click on the link, which is going to be over there. But not yet, it won't be. But do a search on the channel and you'll see it. The i88s, from what I can remember, because I do review a lot of these. These were the ones which were particularly loud, I think. Did I say these were the really super loud ones, Kath? I, can't, I honestly can't remember now. You'll need to check out the video because honestly, I see so many of these. I'm pretty sure that i88 was the one which was really, really loud and had extremely good treble and mid-range, but it was slightly light on the bass, if I remember rightly. But in all seriousness, I'd love to answer your question completely. Best way of that is check out the video and you'll get the full the full SP on that. Chris says hi and wants the best cream. Chris says hi. Chris Davis, hi Chris Davis. <laughs> uh, what are the best clones? Oh my God, this is gonna turn into the AirPod show. I can see it happening, which is actually something I didn't want the channel to become, but these AirPods are just so ridiculously, um, it's like a, a phenomenon which is sweeping the entire globe. It started off in the US and there's this kind of whole culture where 
basically if you haven't got AirPods or AirPod clones, essentially you're a poor person. It's like in the 80s when, uh, if you can remember that far back, when everyone had Nike shell suits for breakdancing. And if you didn't have a Nike one, you weren't one of the cool kids. And the same thing is happening now with AirPods. You've got to have them. So what are the best clones? Um, <laughs> that's a very, very good question. A uh, quick hello to Edward, Edward Cuss. How you doing, mate? How you doing? Um, the best AirPods. It's a really difficult one. Depends on what you want. If you want all-out loudness, I think it's the i88s which are the best. If you want the all-out best sound quality, I think it's probably still the i10 TWS or maybe the uh, the ones I recently reviewed, which were the the Air 2 from Nokia's, which are essentially i10 TWS Mark II. So if you haven't seen those or haven't seen the review, definitely go and check out the video because these are actually probably going to be the number one now. The sound is identical, I think, to the i10. I still need to do a one-for-one -one comparison on that. But yeah, these are the ones to beat at the moment. The Wi-Fi, sorry, the Bluetooth is amazing, which was where the, air, the i10s were let down. The Bluetooth was a little bit patchy at times, even just walking down the street with the phone in my back pocket. Sometimes you'd get like one of the buds would drop out a little bit and that's just super annoying. Despite it being a really good price and a really good looking set of clones, little things like that just, it's, that is what they're for, listening to music. So if you can't hear your music or you don't get that constant immersion in the music, it's a real, real pain. So as much as the i10s are probably the ones to beat, I think those, uh, the new ones, the Air 2 from Nokia's are actually probably gonna take the crown, especially because of the reliable Bluetooth. So hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Nazim says, ha, doesn't want to be a poor person. That's why they're excited to buy the clones. Yep, I, uh, I totally get you. I totally get you. Caleb's asking, which clones are the closest in size and design to the original AirPods? Um, again, that's going to have to be the i10s or the Air 2. The Air 2, I would say, are probably the closest because they've got the black dots on the inside and the outside. Um, the case itself is probably the most realistic I've seen so far. Uh, the AirPods, the original AirPods and the AirPods 2 are virtually identical anyway. There's very little between them. So if not, I think they are actually completely identical. I don't think there is actually any difference. So the Air 2 at the moment is probably the one to go for. Now, I'm not going to comment. Now, I'll, I'll just put this out there now straight away. I will not be commenting on the one-for-one -one super copies and the ones that actually say designed by Apple on the back and I've got the Apple logo on them because in, in my mind, they are just totally counterfeit goods and counterfeiting is a crime. Now, making a an approximate copy, although not entirely 100% a kind of above board, it isn't illegal because there are subtle differences in the design and stuff like that to make them not original AirPods. If they said Apple on them, then yeah, totally, I would not use them, but um, there is a big difference between complete counterfeiting ripoffs and selling clones, which is what the ones I review are. So if you want an exact one-for-one -one copy or as close as you can get, the super copies are the ones to go for. I think there's another one which has just come out as well, which I've seen from some various sites. Personally, you're taking a risk. They are counterfeit goods. Potentially, they could get taken off you during shipment from customs if they get seized. Is it really worth it? Probably not. Not for an Apple logo, that's for sure. So anyway, that's me on my uh, my soapbox there. I do apologise. Paul Donaldson is back with us. Paul Donaldson, we haven't heard from you for a long time. How are you doing? Good to have you with us again. Paul Donaldson, I have bought a Wii U. Okay. Wii Sports. Love Wii Sports. We love Wii Sports, don't we, Calf? We used to play a lot of that. Uh, Danny Varga. Hello to you, Danny. Nice case you got back there. What is it called? If you're referring to that one, that is the Inwin. Just looking at the box. I think it's the 103. Is it the 103? I can't see the box from here, Calf. 
All the right in, oh yeah, it's the 103. Yeah, that is the in win 103. Uh, CAF will put some affiliate links in the chat, so if you want to buy one, you can buy one from Amazon and help out your pals here at Mike's Unboxing with a little bit of affiliate kickback. <laughs> now, how's the stream looking, everybody? Is it looking oh good? Looking oh good? Is it looking okay? Is it uh, laggy? All that kind of stuff, because my surface here is, uh, well, it's sucking major balls and lagging terribly, so... Uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's coming through okay. Caleb says, yeah, I want a similar one. Having counterfeits is, I think that said, not a good idea to scroll in too quick. Yeah, that's right. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading uh, comments from all of us who seems to be having a bit of a field day on the chat at the moment. Take it easy, fella. Shan Khan, what is the most exciting thing you ever unboxed? Um, oh, I don't know. Kath just saying it was the hula hoop. No, it wasn't the hula hoop. That, although that was probably one of the more fun ones. What was the most exciting? That's a really good question. I got. Off. I think it was probably the in-win case, not the one behind the 101. It was the original 101. 1C, which at the time when I got it was like a, an expensive case and it was really luxurious and previously to that I'd had some pretty crappy cases. So the, the Inwin 101C, because it was like a, a really nice case and had all the um, Asus Aurora, yeah, Asus Aurora sync stuff built into it, all the RGB, and we had the full deck of fans in there as well. So yeah, that was pretty exciting, and that was one of those things where I was actually really looking forward to doing the build in it. So that that is probably it. Although saying that, actually, probably the camera you're watching on now, the uh, the Lumix G7. Even though I did a really crap unboxing, and if you want to see a really really pitiful, horrible unboxing, watch the unboxing for the the G7. It is horrendous. It genuinely is horrendous. But I was really excited. It doesn't really come through in the video, but. That camera was something that I'd wanted for a long time, so and it was really expensive, but for me it was anyway. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty good. Good evening to you, Jelly Boy One Two Three Four. Hope you're having a great evening. I will be shortly as these start going down. Chris Davis, what got you into YouTube? Um, <laughs> What got me into YouTube? Now there's two stories to this, one of which is a little bit personal, so I probably won't go into it, um, but it's kind of like a necessity thing. But also, I've watched YouTube pretty much since it, it, well, since it came out really, and I've always watched it and watched people doing unboxings and videos, and I'm quite a critical person by nature, so I've always thought to myself, when I've watched videos, oh, I could do that better or I'd do that differently, or I'd do this differently. And it's not until you actually try and do it for yourself that you realize actually how difficult it is. And the people that do the videos on YouTube, even if you think they're rubbish videos, the amount of time, effort, work, and just brain power that goes into it, just trying to fathom out what you're gonna say in some kind of coherent fashion on a camera, it actually is a lot more difficult than it looks. There's some people who are complete naturals and just grab a camera, blah, 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 talk away to it, and they're absolutely great at it. But some of us, including myself, have had to kind of really, really work at it to feel comfortable and to actually do it. So my ideal situation really is for YouTube to become enough so that it provides me with a, an income so I can live on it, so I can do this all the time and not have to worry about kind of paying the bills and where the next meal's coming from, all that kind of stuff, and to kind of do it at my own pace. That's why I want to do it, so that's probably why I got into it. But also to prove to myself that I could, because some of you probably don't realise, but I am actually an elderly gentleman. Despite these dashing good looks, I am actually way over the hill. So if I had to go out and actually look for a real job in the kind of the real world now, I would really struggle because I'm at that age where people just don't want to give you a job. Especially when there's like in the UK minimum wage and all that kind of stuff, where they can employ someone who's like 17, 18, and they'll do the job for kind of nothing. 
it makes it really, really difficult to get a job. And uh, anyone who's a similar age to me, which is kind of somewhere between 40 and 50, you'll know exactly where I'm coming from. So doing this actually also is a bit of a safeguard. So if there is ever a massive recession, recessions don't affect TV and they don't affect entertainment, or very rarely do they. So if you want a job which is gonna set you up for life and you wanna work at it and keep on doing it and hopefully build yourself a pension pot from it, YouTube or TV is the way to go. Sorry, have I bored you all to tears now? Are you all gonna, uh, <laughs> you're gonna jump off of a rock somewhere? If Carlsberg did live streams, I was waiting for somebody to say that. Thank you, Kev, appreciate it. Um, chat. Shan Khan says, have you ever been to India? No, I haven't, but I would actually like to. I don't travel, very rarely do I travel. In fact, I probably travel even less now than I did when I was younger, and I didn't travel much then. So yeah, I would eventually at some point like to see the world. Actually, I'd like to do an unboxing in every country around the world. I think that would be amazing. If I ever get to the size where the channel can do it, I would definitely love to go on a tour of various different tech plants and companies all around the world and unbox their products. That would be amazing. That would generally be amazing. Click Tech, how old is the channel? Click Tech, how old is the channel? Um, January 2017, I think we started, wasn't it, Kath? Yeah, yeah 22nd of January, oh, sorry, 21st of January, 2017. And we got off to kind of like a, a really patchy start. And we weren't really too sure where it was going, but We've learned a bit and we've kind of played the game a little bit and yeah, it seems to be going well. It's, it's getting better. YouTube has become a really weird place. So say three, four years ago, you'd find it quite easy to get 10, 20, 30, 40,000 views on a video within a couple of weeks. Whereas now it is a real, real problem to get even reasonable views on anything which isn't super popular, which is kind of almost why the AirPods have become such a main thing because they get so many views. And you look at the amount of YouTube channels out there at the moment, which are doing AirPod videos. Now, I was lucky I got into it pretty much at the beginning when uh, Nokia's actually, they when they began. So we kind of started at the same time and they've reached out to us and said, would you want to kind of do some work with us? I'm like, yeah, of course, we'll have, we'll have a look at your stuff. But ever since then, there's been all these other companies that have sprung up and are doing clones of clones and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, it's generated its own little kind of sub niche within YouTube. Very weird. Oh, awesome. Right, so we've got two questions here from you guys, which hopefully one of you is gonna answer the other one. So Edwards asked, what was the worst thing I've unboxed? And Shan Khan says he's watched all of our videos so maybe you want to answer that question for me. Um, I've got one that's sticking out at the moment. There's actually, there's two. One of which is worse because I just, it was like, oh God, this is so cringeworthy, but I'm going to do it. Actually, no, there's two saying that. There's two cringeworthy ones, which I did, which I actually enjoyed doing, but it was a bit kind of like, oh, really? And there was one that I did, which I just actually just didn't like purely for the fact that I didn't have the right stuff to do the video. And I just went along and did it anyway, the best I could. So actually I think, yes, the worst one I did, or the one I enjoyed the least was this one. This is the uh, <laughs> Smart Sensor Car Wireless Charger. Now this is actually a really good product. It must be because otherwise I wouldn't have done the video on it but I don't have a phone which has fast charging or uh, QI charging on it. So trying to do a video on a phone holder for your car which supports wireless charging when you haven't got a phone that supports wireless charging is actually a real pain in the ass. So that was one that I didn't actually enjoy doing purely for, for the fact that I couldn't show it off to its fullest capability. But that was, that was a really good product. Uh, the two other ones I hated doing, which I enjoyed doing, but I didn't, were the uh, Abflex belt, which if you're a, a slightly overweight elderly gentleman like myself, I certainly suggest you get one. I did get one and it's disappeared. Someone in the family has taken it off somewhere and I uh, don't know where it is. So that's how good that was. They, anyone who uses it is like, oh, this is really good. 
because basically you strap this belt on, it puts electronic stuff through your guts and gives you a six pack. And you don't have to do anything, so you can just sit there watching Netflix, eating all your Doritos and sour cream and all that kind of stuff whilst getting a six pack. So that one was a funny video actually, which we'll probably link at some point. I didn't really enjoy doing it, but it was actually quite fun doing it because at the time I thought, what the heck am I doing? This is supposed to be a tech channel. It didn't work out. Uh, the other one was actually related, which was the uh, <laughs> the home waxing kit, which again, if Kath can find it, she'll put a link in the description. You can watch it later. I guess really waxing kits and stuff like that are designed for kind of health and beauty channels. But Kath wanted one and she wouldn't go on camera using it. So we were stuck for an idea. So I said, well, what the heck, I'll do it. So hopefully that answers your question. Oh, the nose hair chip trimmer was pretty bad. Although, no, I quite enjoy that because having a hairy nose is a, is a thing. So having a nose hair trimmer is awesome. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Right, what other questions have we got? Oh, click, Kev from ClickTech says, Oi, we are not over the hill. Hmm. You tell yourself that when you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, creaking out of bed. <laughs> or is that just me? Uh, Glenn says, always recommend getting a trade under your belt. Definitely. Um, I'm lucky that I am i wouldn't say I'm skilled in anything particularly, but I can turn my hand to most things. So I can do mechanical work on cars to some extent. I can do electrical work, a little bit of plumbing work. I can do computer repairs, obviously. Uh, I've done that for a long time. I can I know my way around cars and car parts and stuff like that. So I can work in car suit in the car sector. And I know a little bit about how to uh, start a YouTube channel. So there's a few kind of sub trades I can always tap into, hopefully. Uh, right, what else we got there? Rennie Rose, are enjoying the Danish beer? Yes, but unfortunately it's brewed in the UK, so. <sighs> Lovely jubbly. Nazim says, oh my God, are you doing this live video by Lumix G7? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, have I missed any questions? All right, Cap's gonna go through the questions and if I've missed anything, she'll, uh, she'll flag it up. <laughs> Shan Khan has asked, doesn't it feel a bit weird when you're just talking to the camera Sorry, the reflection on the screen, my eyes. And you know it like it's uh, a kind of weird feeling. Yes, very much. It is a very weird feeling because literally you are looking at me and it's a completely natural thing because you're, on, you're looking at a screen. But me, I'm looking at the lens on a camera. Um, I've got two cats there led down, completely asleep on top of the uh, Sharkoon Night Shark case, which uh, has proved that that case is useful for something. Um, I can see Kath behind the lens, so it's not that weird because there's other stuff going on around me, so it's as if I'm talking to Kath because she's opposite me, but she wouldn't listen to me as long as you guys do, so appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to get some snarky comment now. Um, yeah, it is a little bit weird. You, it takes a bit of a, a while to get used to it. The worst thing is actually with the camera, especially if you've got one with like the flippy out screen, if you have the screen facing you so you can see how the shot is composed, because your tendency then is to look at the screen. So ideally you want a screen which flips up over the lens or underneath the lens. So you're still looking kind of at the same angle as the lens, if you get what I mean. But if I look at the screen now, you can probably see if you look closely that my eyes are looking straight at you, which I hate that. There's actually, I'm gonna quickly jump onto a band wagon. No, not a band wagon, what's the thing? I'm gonna jump onto my What's the thing you stand on when you're going to make a point about something? Tell me in the comments, you have to let me know. YouTube videos. You're, you obviously watch them because you're here watching this now or listening to this now. I hate adverts right now on YouTube. I am so tempted to get an ad blocker, it is ridiculous. I don't do it purely for the reason that 
I understand that people on YouTube have to make an income and watching videos, etc., etc., leads to money, leads to payment, etc. Okay, I'm with you, I get that. But what a pain in the ass with these double barreled videos, uh, double barreled adverts. Are you getting that now? Where you get, you start a video and it's like one ad, but now you've got the skip ads button. Not just skip ad, skip ads, like plural. And I've even had a triple ad. Like what are they thinking of? So an advert's what, two minutes or so? So three three bloody adverts and it's like that's five minutes of your day gone all i want to do is see how to fix something flipping heck anyway okay i'll come on to that so what i want to know from you are you experiencing the same adverts as i am because every single advert i'm getting at the moment is either the chinese dude the australian dude or the american dude all of them stood by that yellow Lamborghini or Ferrari or whatever the heck it is, I don't even care. And he's like, I don't blame you if you don't trust me. I wouldn't trust someone who shouted at me on YouTube. And it's like, oh, right. So you want me to do the course that you're doing so I can sell cheap crap to people for loads of money on the internet. Okay, fine, next advert. Then you get the Chinese guy doing it. And I was like, oh my God. Then it's like, Right, new from Camtasia. It's like, oh, I don't want Camtasia. I looked up Camtasia once in my life, once, just that one day, and now every single day, at least loads of times, I get that darn advert for Camtasia. I don't want it. Stop it, leave me alone. I don't want it. I'm not buying it. That is that. And same goes for you, Alex Jones, or whatever your name is, who's trying to flog me this e-bloody marketing thing don't want to do it leave me alone Oof, ah. that's it i'm better i'm all right i'm back in the room right next question adverts are boring yeah they are they're awesome uh awesome they're awful does a cooler master hey jay nobody does a cooler master mb5 on one case work there Right, back on to Tech Talk. Um, Kath has just given me a question about the Masterbox 511. MB. Master, yeah, MB is yeah. Masterbox. So Masterbox MB 511. Um, I think that's the one, I'm sure that's the one with the mesh front. Am I right? You'll have to let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure that no. oh, Kath's gonna look it up on the old uh, computer. So I'll have a look. Some of the Masterbox cases are absolute pants and I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole. Hey, Aletta is in the house. Aletta, your ears must be burning because we were talking about you earlier, myself and Mrs. Calf. Sorry, so I'm gonna look at this, so Masterbox. Yes, that's the mesh front, isn't it? Is that mesh front, Calf? Yes. Cooler Master MB511 case is a good case and it has a mesh front so awesome ventilation looking at it now you've got the basement in the bottom for hiding all your cables you can probably get even a 360 rad in the front three fans in there by the looks of things from what i can tell you've got about an inch or so of gap on the front between the, uh, the mesh and the fans so plenty of airflow yeah that's looking like a rocking case i actually that is one i might actually go and buy and do a full review on so um yeah keep your eyes out that might well happen I was uh, once bitten twice shy with my Cooler Master cases before with the Q300 and also the Masterbox Lite 3.1. The Q300, not as bad. The Lite 3.1 was awful and I basically almost gave it away come the end. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Yeah, Aletta says I wouldn't mind if the ads were related to my interests. Yeah, it's like if they started showing me things like regain or hair transplants or stuff like that, I'd be like, yeah, cool, I'm all up for that. But e-marketing, I've got a YouTube channel, I don't want to do e-marketing, I don't want to have my own website. Well, hmm, maybe I do. Maybe I should start selling these things and make myself a few quid. Okay. 
Paul Donaldson. Um, no, I'm not. We aren't watching the Game of Thrones. That's on tonight, I believe, isn't it? Is that a Sunday night thing? I'm completely... I think I watched some of the, one of the first series way, way back when somebody at work gave me a DVD set and said, oh, you are, you can borrow this. I'm like, thanks. And I basically, actually, that's how long ago it was because I still had a DVD drive on my computer. So that's how long ago that was. Chris Davis has asked the question, how many giveaways are you doing tonight? Now that is actually a very good question. It depends on some very, very obscure metrics. So I'm pretty sure that I'm supposed to be giving away these, the I-88 TWS. I'm pretty sure that's ready to go, isn't it, Calf? We're thinking. The I-12 TWS, I'm pretty sure. I think I mentioned it was going to be the I-10s, but the I-10s and the I-12s, I personally would say go with the I-12s for reliability. I don't want to give something away which is going to end up causing me grief and being a real pain in the butt. So those two definitely. I did have a set of I-9S TWS, which actually were a warranty replacement, which have never been opened. So I'm very much considering giving those away tonight as well. And also, I promised ages ago that I would give away a pair of the Zulu Audio running headphones or running speakers. So I've got a pair of those in white and I've got a pair of those in black. So if there's interest for them, I'm going to give them away to someone, um, a black or a white, whatever anybody wants. Or if there's somebody who wants a black and somebody wants a white, then I'll give them both away. Because we're just giving, giving, giving tonight. We're not. Um, oh, technical question. So the, yeah, Kev ClipTech, I am currently using a, I oh, don't move it in case it all goes wrong. That is what I'm currently using to capture this. So this is the Elgato HD60X, affiliate links in the description below. Well, in the chat in a minute. Uh, this is actually really, really good for doing capture for both um, screen capture so if you want to run a pc or xbox or something into it and then run it out through usb 3 it's absolutely fantastic and i've been playing around with the settings on this recently and i've managed to get some really really super sharp um, images for the desktop displays which before was a little bit grainy and i wasn't quite happy but now i've managed to get a pretty much perfect one for one copy of whatever's on the screen with this and hopefully the sound and the audio that is coming through to you now from the uh, Lumix G7, which out of interest, I'm using the uh, the Boya lav mic, which is a little powered mic, about £15, $20. That is plugged into the input, the mic input on the Lumix G7. And all of the information, sound and video is coming straight through the HDMI cable into that box. So in theory, there should never be any lag in the audio because the audio and the video are entwined in that feed. Whereas you watch some streams and eventually if it goes on long enough, the kind of, it gets out of sync and what have you. There's a certain young gentleman by the name of Kerry Holzman who does a lot of live streams and he uses OBS, but he hasn't kind of figured out the fact that if you do audio and video separately, they will eventually become out of stream. So Kerry, if you're watching, this is how to do it, mate. <laughs> like Kerry Hells might be watching this. He'd be too busy getting busted. Blame. Sorry, Calf. Darwin Blame. Darwin Blame has a question. Oh, actually, I can see that. Is that the one? Let's talk about oh, no, I can't see that. That's quite Darwin Blame, Darwin Blame. Darwin Blame. Okay, let's talk clone AirPods. What was the best feature in your opinion and what works good? I know wireless charging ain't it. Yeah, wireless charging is a butt. Um, hmm. <laughs> what features did the clone pod? Right, clone pods. First of all, let's get one thing straight. All of them, the battery life is rubbish. In comparison with your kind of like your big over ear cans, like the uh, Mixeder E9s I reviewed, those things last a week. Um, because of the size of these and they obviously cheap out on the batteries, so the battery life sucks. They're getting better, but that's something that definitely, definitely needs to improve, which actually, if that is your buying decision, which one's gonna last the longest, then I think at the moment, that was the, I think that was the 
i11s, but they sound awful. So it's kind of like, mm, what do you do? The XY pods, which I actually have been sent a pair of XY pods for review, but they seem to have a fault with them where they the Bluetooth wouldn't do from here to the, the camera away. They were pretty bad. So I'm actually waiting on a replacement set of those to come through so I can review them. But apparently they've got very good battery life, as did the Air 2. They had a really good battery life, uh, at least three hours or more. And what else did I use recently? There was... Oh, what did I have in the other day? Oh, yeah, that was it. There's another one. Where are they going? Where have I put them? Uh, da -da -da. I'm looking around. There's a box somewhere. The pros ones. Where are they, Calf? You see them around? Oh, they're on the end there. Thank you. Right, if you want battery life and you want sound quality, but you don't care what they look like, which really, if you're a smart person, then really what they look like shouldn't really bother you. But these from Pros, these are the Pros TWS02. The battery life is insane, like four, four and a half hours, if not more. I gave up testing because they just went on forever. Um, they charge in half an hour. HD stereo, so when you go into your Bluetooth settings, you've got another setting for HDA, which is like the high definition audio. What else was it? Um, yeah, they just, they sound amazing. Now, I watched a certain film which has just been released, which is extremely long, which you can probably guess what it is, but I'm not gonna say it. Um, I watched the whole film, paused it in a lot of places, rewound it in a few places, because I was like, whoa, did that actually just happen? And these things were still going strong at the end of that, and that was a good three and a half, four hours, so. Yeah, those were brilliant. And even though it was a, uh, a pretty bad copy of the movie, it actually still sounded great with these in. So if you want sound quality, you don't care what they look like, but you just want it to sound good and last for a long time and actually have a really good connection. These worked actually when I went to go and get a drink and also when I went to the toilet, these carried on working from the Bluetooth receiver in the PC. So yes, those were very good. And there will be a full review coming very soon. So yeah, those are the ones if you want AirPod type devices that go in your ears, that's the ones to go for. Right. Podium soapbox, no. Oh, well, have we missed loads of questions here? Yeah, that's what do you stand on? <laughs> what do you stand on, yeah, at the podium? Uh, Edward Cuss has asked about Article 13. Yeah, Article 13. <laughs> uh dear. Article 13 is a bit of a, a weird one. I don't, it's like all the other stuff that happens like Brexit and the millennium bug and all those kinds of things. Like you hear about it and there's people like going, ah, freaking out everywhere. But until it actually happens, you don't know how you're going to react or how people are gonna react. So as much as, I, I actually was very tempted to do a video on it. I'm not, did I do a video on it? I may, have, I may have pointed to it at some point, but Article 13, really, I don't think it's got any teeth to it. There's too much invested interest in social media, YouTube, Google, AdSense, all that kind of stuff, TVs for added, like if you watch a TV program nowadays, you look at the brands that are on there. If it's a contemporary or even older program, anything set from maybe the 70s up through to modern day and even beyond sometimes, they'll have so many brands in there, there'll be people eating branded stuff, wearing branded stuff, driving branded stuff. It's everywhere, you can't get around it. So Article 13 is gonna be really, really difficult to police. If there's people doing genuine rip-offs of content, yeah, of course, they're gonna get stung pretty badly. The main thing is that it depends how YouTube deal with it. If YouTube are gonna be sensible about it and say, okay, we'll see what happens, we'll, we'll, we'll see if people play the game, the best thing to do is to say, right, if people do misuse copyright material, you will be banned from YouTube. Simple. That would give people enough reason not to do it, but we'll see. I think most normal people, like people who've got a channel, who kind of have built a channel and value their channel, people, well, like, um, well, Kev, for instance, who's working really hard to build his channel up. Uh, there's Welsh Tony's also in here at times as well. Uh, Bright Echo 9, obviously he's got a massive channel, so if there's anything that would possibly hinder his channel, he'd be stepping well away from it because it just isn't worth it. If you're making money and you're earning money on a channel, why would you jeopardize it by showing 
someone else's content or copyrighted material, just it just isn't worth it. And most copyrighted stuff gets flagged straight away anyway. If I put anything in my videos, any music um, from the pop charts or whatever, the pop charts, wow, that sounded old. Um, any contemporary music or basically any music which has been in the charts at some stage, it gets flagged straight away and it says, would you like to change this? It, it, by the time you've even uploaded the video, uh, well, sorry, whilst you're uploading the video, it does that. So that kicks in before you've even released the video. So I can't see it being a massive problem if I'm completely honest, but we'll see. Uh, Ryan P says, how long do I do each live stream? I don't put a limit on it. I just do whatever I feel that A, I can do and B, that people are actually prepared to listen to. Paul Donaldson got himself a mesh. Paul Donaldson got himself a mesh? That's, that's awesome. I'm glad you got that. Uh, did you get the, the tender, the MW3? Or did you go for the bigger one, the MW5? Got good on Google Wi-Fi. Oh, Google Fi. Nice. That is a nice kit. Is it working well? I would like to try that at some point, but mine works and I don't really want to spend any more money on it if I could possibly help it. But if Google want to send me a set for a review, I'd be more than happy to uh, try them out. That's really nice. Unless it's angry because she needs to get an ad to that high speed leak internet. <laughs> she wants that. She has a piece of meat to hungry dog. Letter's getting uh, upset because she gets adverts for high speed internet and Letter lives in somewhere in Ohio. Ohio, I think, or somewhere in America that basically doesn't get great internet speed. So that is uh, not a kind thing to be showing that. Actually, we don't get adverts like that, do we? I wonder if I started searching for it, actually saying that, because I've got my uh, Google Home over there, because I'm talking about internet speeds, I really want fast internet speeds. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Put money on it, that will turn up in my ads somewhere. Damn you, Google. Right, um, anything else I've missed? Baddie Builder, or Biddler, sorry. I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> hey, it's quite nice to see a few uh, blue spanners in here tonight. So we've got a few administrate, a uh, few extra moderators tonight. We've got Aletta and Seam at night. So behave, you people. Otherwise, they are going to kick you out. And Glenn as well. Uh, Baddy Bidler, Bidler, bit. I, I'll just call you Baddy for now on, if that's all right. Hello Mike, can you help me with something? I have built a new PC with some old hard disk. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, I saw you, uh, you messaged earlier, didn't you? Okay, so this is actually an interesting one for those in the, uh, those of you that are into your tech. So basically they've rebuilt or built a new PC with a Asus Prime A320MK motherboard. So it's a pretty decent motherboard for the uh, lower end Athlon chips and has actually paired it with an Athlon 200GE. And the RAM is G-Skill, eight gigs of DDR4. So the problem is they've installed Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit, and the PC is lagging. Uh, all the drivers are installed, but it still lags. So it's an old PSU, 420 watts, and an old hard disk. So the lagging, I would say, without seeing the system, and it, to be honest with you, it's really difficult to diagnose anything without seeing it. You're purely guessing. There's no kind of facts or anything involved in this. This is purely, purely speculation and based on my years of experience. Oh my God, I sound like Kerry Holzman. Oh, 35 years in the business. <laughs> Sorry, do apologize. <laughs> um, I would say if you're using a mechanical hard drive and you're using an old PSU, the PSU probably isn't going to be a problem. I would be very surprised if it is. If your PSU is your problem, you're more likely to get um, reboots or complete hard crashes, blue screens possibly. The 200G is a, what, 50, uh, 25 watt part, 30 watt part. It's a very low wattage part. The motherboard itself isn't going to draw a great deal of power. Your mechanical drive isn't going to take a lot of juice. So you're not going to be putting a lot of strain on that power supply. So I would say it's more than likely your mechanical hard drive 
especially if you've just done an installation of Windows 10, it's very likely, almost definite, that Windows indexing is on. So Windows indexing is now trying to index all of your files on that hard drive. And if it is an older drive, even a decent newer drive is going to struggle with Windows 10 or at least feel laggy at certain times. So my advice to you would be to, I think I've actually done a video called how to speed up Windows 10. Uh, maybe Kath can find it and stick it in the comments for you or actually in the, uh, the chat. But there's ways you can go right, you can just basically disable the indexing service, which gives you a massive, massive boost in performance, especially for older hard disk drives. Now, I would say really, if you've treated yourself to a new motherboard processor and that kind of stuff, if you can find it, dig deep and try and get yourself a cheap SSD. Even a 120 gig drive or a 240 gig drive is gonna be a massive, massive boost in performance and your old hard drive is gonna be holding you back a little bit. So, um, so Kath will find the video, you can have a look at it, see how it goes. If you still get problems with it, then uh, is the uh, speed up Windows 10 or drive indexing, I think. Yeah, Kath's gonna stick the links to that in there. Or maybe if anyone else can find it from my channel, stick a link in there for um, Baddy, and hopefully that will sort it out. Um, just checking now, what speed? Yeah, what's what speed is the RAM running out? C McKnight says, which is actually a pretty good question. If the RAM isn't actually set up to run at the right speeds, that could cause a little bit of lagging. Although you could actually, if you wanted to, do Alt Control Delete and go into Task Manager and actually look at your hard drive usage. <coughs> Excuse me, your hard disk drive usage. Yeah, I think that's it. And um, if your hard disk usage is slammed at like 100% all the time, that's your Windows drive indexing service doing that, which will lag the system out, <coughs> excuse me, uh, quite a bit. Uh, Darwin Blame says, yeah, true, the battery is rubbish on clones, but another YouTuber told me to get the i20 TWS. He even did a battery test and they were legit three and a half hours. You should get your hands on those and review them. Yeah, I think actually the, I10, the i20s are very similar to the Air 2. I keep on forgetting that. And actually, even saying that, the I think it was the i88s and the i12s, all of them get around about three hours, a bit more. When I said they're rubbish, I mean, ideally for AirPods and stuff like that, you look, I would want eight hours, like a full day's use. If that's me personally, but depends what your expectations are. So Baddy, I, oh wow, that's all gone really badly wrong. I know it's not, it's worked out okay. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, where did I get to? Ah, uh, NS Nick's in the house. NS Nick is a previous winner of some AirPods. You're still working, or have you had to send them back as faulty yet? I've got a saying, can, check, can you check what is running at startup? Oh yeah, that's good, yeah. So, Baddy, hopefully, uh, from myself, C McKnight, and a couple of others, we've put some suggestions in there. Discord server link. Oh yeah, that's good, yeah. Kaf just said she's put the Discord server link in there, so, if this doesn't work out for you, you're more than welcome to uh, drop by on the Discord server and we will try and help you a little bit further. It's not easy as the things to do while in a live stream and also give everyone else a fair crack of the whip to have their questions answered. So yeah, hopefully you've had some good answers there or at least some help from the other moderators. Sean Khan says, it's 2 a.m. in India, so good night. Uh, you're the best. Let me know when I win the giveaway. <laughs> Let's just hope for the best. Love from India and peace. Well, peace to you and have a, a good night. In it's pretty late. Get some sleep. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. All right. Paul Donson says the Google Wi-Fi is amazing, and I should totally try it. Um, yeah, actually, I might, I might, I might try that because the the tender system is very good but it does limit me on the gigahertz, uh, sorry, the gigabit side of the ethernet, which is a little bit of a bugbear if I'm honest. <laughs> oh dear, Lucas Peter says hello. 
Hi, Lucas. Christoph, good hello to you as well. Can I, Chris Davies, can I set of 10S TWS? That's easy for you to say. Less easy for me to say. Matthew Chetwind, Chetwind, maybe that's right. Uh, my i10S TWS don't charge properly in their case. See, this is what I said earlier. When I said I was gonna do an i10 TWS giveaway, it was like, my heart was in the right place, but the product isn't. The i10 TWS of all of them, because it was the best sounding and they used really good equipment, they cheaped out on stuff. So you get loads and loads of electrical problems, you get the Bluetooth problems. It's such a shame, because it was such, it was so nearly the perfect AirPod. And it, for a time when it first came out, they were, because they were the best clone. But yeah, that's why I've not, not given them away. Uh, I'm that guy says, do you review keyboards? <laughs> oh dear, if you would have been a, if you'd have been a fly on the wall um, yesterday, you'd have loved it. I was trying to review, where is it? So you can tell this isn't uh, BS because it's actually legit, actually next to me. So I had the, there you go. You can tell I'm the unboxer, box it the wrong way. So I had this, this is the, um, Game Max click keyboard. I did a review on that, and that review actually was pretty decent. And it's actually not a bad keyboard, but it's not a mechanical. It sounds like a mechanical, but it's not mechanical. And you know what it's like, you get those keyboard snobs saying, hey, it's not mechanical, but mechanical this, blah, 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 whatever. So I thought, okay, right, what I'll do is I'll review this one. This is the Game Max Strike. And this is probably the cheapest keyboard in the UK, which actually is in the UK, not some Chinese thing which is fully mechanical using blue switches and RGB lighting with per key illumination. Wow, I almost did the video there. Um, a really good keyboard, and it's like 40 pounds in the UK, which isn't a lot for a mechanical keyboard. And it's actually the one that you can see in the back of this shot now, which looks pretty cool and actually works really well with that case, I think. What do you, th what do you think? Do you agree with that? Does that keyboard tie in well with that case, with the kind of like the, uh, the RGB stuff going on? I think it does. Can't see it too good. Caps saying you can't see it too good, but anyway, well, there you go. You get the idea. <laughs> so yeah, I was trying to do the review on this and I was really, really struggling. Because I've got to be honest with you, I hate reviewing keyboards because reviewing a keyboard is like reviewing a condom or something. You're never going to satisfy every shape, size, fit or feel. Everybody wants something a little bit different. So trying to relay what a keyboard feels like is extremely difficult. You can do as much clicking and tapping as you want on the keyboard, but people, unless you try it for yourself, you're not gonna know. But for what it's worth, I like it. I've actually used it to replace my Rio Toro keyboard, which actually was using the Cherry MX Brown switches. And these are using the Ottimo blue switches, which are a little bit less clicky, but have got quite a nice low impact feel to them, I think. I'm not a keyboard expert, so I try not to review things that I don't know too much about. I reviewed it because they sent it to me and they said, look, try it out, see what you think of it. I was like, okay, I'll give it a go. So that video is still gonna happen at some point, but that is why I don't really review keyboards. Anyway, moving on. Uh, da -da. Chris Davis says, I ate I wouldn't mind having. They're all pretty good. Ryan Pierce, anyone, has anyone seen Endgame? Is it too early for spoilers yet? I don't know. I have seen people posting full breakdowns in the movie. I have seen it uh, twice now. I'm still not too sure how I feel about it. <laughs> so, Shan, Shan Khan, should I get the i20 TWS or i30 TWS? <laughs> this is the last question that I'm going. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not gonna be able to answer your question. The i20s, I haven't had and I haven't tested. The i30s, exactly the same deal. I'm reasonably sure that the i20s and the i30s are based on exactly the same technology 
as the LKTE9 and the Air 2. So they're all in that similar ballpark. So all I say is, if you're going to get them, get them from someone that does a really good warranty. So if there's any problems or you're just not happy with them, you can send them back. Get PayPal protection if you can possibly do it. If you can't get a decent warranty, that is. And just go for one which is at a good price. Don't go for the cheapest one because generally if they're really, really cheap, they're not going to be the original or the copy of the original or whatever they're meant to be. I see these things all the time on eBay and Alibaba, AliExpress, um, Facebook groups, all sorts, and people selling, I think it was the i12s I saw the other day for like £15. It's like, they're obviously not going to be £15. I'm pretty sure the wholesaler price is more than £15. So if you see them advertised for that kind of price, it's unlikely they're going to be what you expect them to be, or to be as good as you expect them to be. Hopefully that answers your question. Nokis don't ship to India. Nokis don't ship to India? Do they not? That is something I uh, I didn't know. <laughs> They're all saying, don't spoil, don't spoil. Okay. <laughs> all right, no more talk of Endgame. All I will say is it, it's a good end to the series. Or is it the end? Yeah, that'll have you thinking. <laughs> uh, Ryan P says, are you going to give the Air 2 away? I think I did say in the video that I was going to. That is going to be a slightly different one because I did say that that was going to be for uh, ex-service veterans, those kinds of people, first responders that can't work. I wanted to try and give something back to the people that have given so much, especially in light of what's been happening around the world at the moment with uh, what, Sri Lanka and all those kinds of things. The medical responders and first responders and the police and the fire and all the rescue type people, your military, army, blah, blah, blah. They'll do what is increasingly a harder and harder job to do. And I think if I can give something back, a little something back to someone who's maybe done their bit for their country, but now is unable to do that for whatever reason, I think it's a nice thing to do for the uh, the people that have done stuff for us because they're certainly braver than I am because I can't see me doing it. So hats off to them for doing it. <laughs> oh, all these stop comments in the chat. Okay. Chris Davies agrees. Hopefully with the last sentiment, rather than the, uh, the end game thing. Okay, so, um, I better think about doing these giveaways then. So, what, did you look at the names for the I-88? Are we gonna do that? Sorry, I'm having a conversation with Kath now, because as per usual, I come into this completely unorganized and I was just going to go through the list of names of people who've commented on the video for the i88 TWS and basically select a winner. So, um, what do you think? Should we do that? Just have a quick scroll through and you can pluck a name out of it random. Then that takes me out of the equation. That's pretty fair. And also gives me a chance to drink some more beer. <coughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, what do you think? Do you think that's a good thing for me to do in general for giveaways? As much as I want to give away stuff to people that are kind of regular contributors and all that kind of stuff, I don't know why, just for some reason I felt at that time, I think it's probably because it, it was around the same time as the Sri Lanka thing and it just got me thinking about it all. So I, I, I want to do what I can for everybody who helps the channel. So, um Yeah, I think in the um, in future giveaways, we probably end up giving it just to people that are actually in the chat at the time for the live feeds. Because generally they're the people who stick around and actually listen and contribute as well. I think contributing is probably gonna be one of the key elements. So if you're a regular contributor and I see your name popping up on videos and I see your name popping up on chat, and maybe you're in the Discord as well and I see your name in there, then if I keep on seeing that name over and over, I'm gonna know you're a regular viewer, you're part of our community, and you deserve deserve a win. Is that fair? What do you think? 
Shankan says, knock his don't ship to India. DH gate don't ship to India. So is AliExpress trustworthy? Do they sell what they show? Are they genuine? Um, Sean, the, I would say AliExpress as a company are trustworthy as in the same way that Amazon are trustworthy. The problem is Amazon and AliExpress and Alibaba and all those kinds of things, they are just an umbrella. And most of the things that are sold are from third parties and they just use it as like a, a shipping or like a, a central destination to do it through. I probably haven't described that very well. Essentially, if you're gonna buy from AliExpress, try and get something which is sold by and shipped by AliExpress. Same goes for Amazon. If you're buying stuff from Amazon, try and get something which is um, sold by and fulfilled by, that kind of stuff. They call it FBA items, so it's fulfilled by Amazon. Um, that's the safest way of doing it. There are, mm, well, I'll say millions. There's hundreds of thousands of sellers that all sell their items through AliExpress. I would say just do your due diligence, look through the feedback, look through the comments, see what the general consensus is. If they've got a load of four and five star reviews, then generally they're gonna be pretty good. Be very wary of any reviews which are all five star because they're probably not genuine. That's a rarity these days, I would say. So just do due diligence. You might find the odd one or two which have had a problem, like one star, two star, and it just says did not work, blah, blah, blah. Have a look, see how they remedied it. Did it say did not work, but they sent another pair or did not work, was refunded? Because at the end of the day, if that's, if that's the way you can get them, just do it the safest way you can. But just, yeah, do your due diligence, check out your supplier, check out your vendor, look at the feedback, look at the prices, and uh, that's the best advice I can give you. Okay. So I'll do a few more questions. Then we've got, um, I've got a coin flip to do. There's two names which have come up for the, um, the I-88 TWS. So um, actually, Kath, do you want to write them down on a bit of paper? And I'll drop the piece of paper and we'll see whose name stands out. Matthew Chetwin, what's the best clone AirPods? Uh, we did answer that earlier, kind of, in this one. It's one of those kind of ongoing questions. What is... Is it the best looking? Is it the best sounding? Is it the best battery life? Is it the best Bluetooth? Is it the best overall? How do you weight all those different subcategories onto a, a certain thing? It's a, it's a really, really difficult thing. Darwin Blame says, lol, don't say the loser's name. <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, I didn't think of that. I was actually gonna say the two names out loud. But then actually it might be might be uh, beneficial either way. So what is the best clone in all categories? Uh, currently I would say it's the Air 2, which are the ones I released, I, re I reviewed last. Oh God, words is hard. Uh, I reviewed those last uh, a couple of days ago, which hopefully either one of the moderators or Kath will put a link in the description or up here later for someone if you want to catch up. Um, yes, the Air 2, battery life, check, design, check, case, check, charging, check, um, what else we say, Bluetooth, check. Yeah, they pretty much cover everything. Anything that was good about the i10 TWS, which generally is the kind of the one, the benchmark, I would say they are equal or better to in pretty much every respect. So for me at the moment, the Air 2 is the clear winner. I did, like I said earlier, I've got the XY pods as well, which have got the W1 chip in, but for me, I'm an Android user, I don't need a W1 chip. Yeah, it's nice to see an animation come up on an iPhone, but the W1 chip doesn't work fully on any device yet. It only shows the power level of both pods and the battery level of the shoes, 31% uh, or 99% or some some fixed point, it never moves, so it's pretty pointless. So, uh, Jimmy Lopez says, I can see the Air 2. Um, 
There. Now you can all see the air too. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got, how am I gonna do this now? You you have to see the camera. Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll fold them up. I'll chuck them on the table and I'll open one of them up and see, we'll see who it is. So this is gonna be the draw for the i88 TWS. And we'll juggle them around. And I'll make eye contact with the camera so I don't know which one's which. And I'll pick that one. So the winner. The other one's there. Don't show don't show the camera who it was. Because they'll be gutted. So let's have a look now. The winner of the I88 TWS V8 is. Can you see that? You see on that screen there? I made a big one behind me. Is it focusing on that? It's not focusing there? No. Okay. Well, the name on there is Richie Rich. So, Richie Rich, you have now got 48 hours to get in contact with me. You are a contributor, you have commented, so we know who you are. So just uh, get in touch and we will sort that out for you. So I'll put that name in there. So if they don't get claimed by Richie Rich in the next uh, 48 hours, we'll probably do the same thing again next week. And then if you want them, they might be yours. So, I suppose, so as not to be a, uh, a complete douchebag, to be a genuinely all round nice guy, which I try to be, there's no such thing as a loser on Mike's unboxing reviews and how to, so the other name is also gonna get a pair of i12 TWS from Nokia's. Now this video isn't sponsored by Nokia's in any way, shape or form. And actually that's something I'm going to raise now. People have said um, that I do sponsored videos or whatever, or I'm getting paid to say that these are good. I'm not. That is the God's honest truth. Nokia's do not pay me to make video reviews. They do not pay me any commission and they do not pay me, well, they don't pay me full stop. They send me review samples and they say it's at my discretion to what I want to say about them. Obviously, they would prefer if I would highlight certain points and not highlight other points, but they do not have any editorial control over what I do or say in my videos, especially in the live streams after I've had a few Colesbergs. So if I thought Nokia's were crap, I would not continue to recommend them and I wouldn't have them on the channel because it would be bad for me, it'd be bad for you, and what's bad for you then turns out to be also bad for me because then I get nothing but complaints in the video comments and all that kind of stuff. So just to clear it up, not sponsored videos. I get sent them free for review. So yes, I don't pay for them. They're not my hard earned money, but I do spend a lot of time and effort going through, reviewing them, checking them, watching films, going out for walks, blah, blah, all that sort of stuff, testing these for you guys so you know what I, I think are the good AirPods. So anyway, I've gone on too much. The name on this is, which you probably won't be able to see again, the lucky winner of the i12 TWS is X Cameron X. So same deal for you, X Cameron X. You have got the next 48 hours. Get in contact with me and we'll arrange some shipping and all that kind of stuff. So two winners tonight. We have got, I can't, Richie Rich. Oh, I nearly forgot the name. <laughs> Actually, Richie Rich um, and Cameron X, both of which have been, um, commenting a lot on videos, they've been active in the chats and all that kind of stuff. So even though neither one of them are here tonight, which possibly could be to do with their time zones and all that sort of stuff, we don't know. But uh, hopefully we will get a... Uh... Richie Rich is on. Richie Rich is on? Is Richie Rich on? Yeah. Where? He's got OMG, that's me. I can't see that. Oh yeah, Richie Rich, you are there. 
Hey! Hey! Oh, I love it when that happens. Last time, the last winner was uh, NS Nick, and he was actually live in the chat as well. So this just goes to show actually what I was saying, that people that are contributing to the channel, watching the videos, commenting, and also being part of the live streams and stuff, they're the ones that are gonna be the winners. So um, we didn't choose names from the live stream tonight. We literally just well, picked them from the videos that are there. So Cameron X, you've let us down. <laughs> but you're always there normally, so we'll let you off. Uh, but Rishi Rich, Oh crap, there you go my friend, there are your I-88 TWS, your name is there, there's your AirPods, I'll, uh, I'll fire them up, check them out, make sure they are all working as they should be and then I will get them sent off to you, so um, best thing to do, Same. Can you email your address and details to Mike at Mike's yeah, yeah Richie do that, send your uh, details to Mike at mikesunboxing.com and uh, we'll figure something out to get these shipped to you. Awesome, another winner. What a good thing to happen on a Sunday. Going out, ending the week on a high and then starting next week on hopefully more of a high. <laughs> right, so that's those two done. So, I don't know, what should you do? These are the i9S TWS. Now, I'll be honest with you, these, these aren't great. They work, they are good. Our daughter still uses them, and actually our son still uses them, but they have got the flashing lights on them. So if you're uh, somebody who goes to school and is likely to get beaten up by the other kids because you've got flashing lights on the AirPods, then don't, don't apply for these. But if anybody else wants the i9 TWS, now is the time. Someone in the comp, somebody in the chat at the moment, if you want these sent to you, Hit me up, let me know. <laughs> this would be embarrassing for knockers now. No one will want them. And if uh, if there's more than a couple of you, then we'll just write your names on a bit of paper again. We'll screw them up, that sort of thing. So. Oh, uh, Shan Khan, I really wanted to win. Well, look. We have got all these things to give away. So stick around and like I said, subscribe to the videos, watch the streams, get involved. And like they say on the uh, National Lottery, it could be you. Could be yeah. Not everybody can be a winner, but no one is a loser. Because there's always going to be the next time. Actually, there's other stuff that we're going to be getting rid of. <laughs> getting rid of, that sounds terrible. <laughs> uh, there's other stuff that we will be um, <laughs> giving away. Oh, Shan, you did. You tried your best. But don't give up. Ryan P, shoot, I want the i10 TWS. I can't believe you still want i10 TWS after everything I've said about the bad Bluetooth and the poor connectivity and the bad charging. You still want them. <laughs> Ivan Gutierrez. I had a daughter called Gutierrez. I think, didn't I? Huh? Yeah. Right, last shot, last round. Who but... Put in I want uh, If you want the I9... I9s. I9S, just type in the chat. I9. I9S. Type it in. Give you a couple of minutes now to get on with it. Send I9S to Sean. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, actually. So Chris Davis is saying i9s. There must be quite a lag on this because I'm watching myself laughing on there still. Oh, is it such a bad thing? Chris Davis, i9s. Christoph, i9s. Paul Donaldson, i9s. Michael Chump, i9s. You better get right in faster. 
Come on, everybody in the chat. Right, right put it in quicker. Kath's writing them down as quick as she can. I want to see smoke coming off that pen. Ivan wants the i10s, but we haven't, we're not giving away the i10s today. We've only got these i9s left, so. Oh, and the Zulus. I can't imagine anyone wanted them. They are quite specific. Skystalker says, Calf is awesome. Yeah, we all agree. Come on, let's give it up for Calf. All right, Calf's going to call out the names so we can double check to make sure everyone's in there. Chris Davis. Yeah. Christoph. Yeah. Paul Delanson. Yeah. Michael Crump. Yep. Matthew Chevin. Yep. Is that it? <laughs> They're getting carried away now. Oh, yeah, Christoph is in there, yeah. Uh, Jimmy Lopez has said Air 2. Sean Khan says, but can you give me I-12? I can give you the I-12s for about... Um, Hang on, postage price. About £45 I could do. Hey, Calf, you're getting cheers in the um, in the comments. <laughs> awesome. Sham was right, right with us from the beginning of the stream. Yeah, we were, but not everyone can be a winner, sadly. If I had the money, I would give them all away and do it, but some of the things I have got to keep around for doing other reviews to, for comparison, so got to be fair to everybody. So, Kath, let's have those names. Uh, oh, yeah. scissors. I bequeath you the magic scissors. <laughs> Chris Davis says math is awesome. I think he's got the wrong end of the stick, but yeah, adding up is pretty cool. Chris Davis says, sorry, Kath, my phone is doing auto spell. <laughs> Ivan Gutierrez says, loves this channel. Oh, thank you. Darwin Blaine, we are all winners, Mike. We are all once the fastest swimmer out of millions. <laughs> <laughs> Not safe for work. Warning. Paul Donaldson says, New Carlsberg is really nice. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm quite, uh... Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Skystalker, algebra. I haven't done that in 35 years. Right, here we have some names then, so... So this is for the i9s. And I don't even know which they are, blah, blah, blah. So let's see what we get. So we have got Michael Crump. Or Crump. Is that Crump or Crumma? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Are they still in the chat, Michael Crump? You still there? Crump. Yay, you won. So Michael, same goes for you. You've got some i9 TWSs gonna be winging their way to you. So send me an email with some kind of proof of who you are or something like that. Maybe a picture of your Gmail login the details and password and username and a three digit password, all that. You know what I mean? Just send me something that shows you that that is who you are. Send it to Mike at mikesunboxing.com and we will arrange some postage at some point this week and get these sent out to you. Hopefully you're, uh, hopefully you're somewhere local, so it's not gonna cost me a fortune. So congratulations to Cameron X, Richie Rich, Michael Crumb, awesome. So that is, what have we got left now? Well, those can't give those away because I've got to do a review on them. So that is three sets of AirPods away. So, um... <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if I... What do you think, guys? Zulu Audio? 
Anybody? Any interest? I actually did like these for what they were, but they're not AirPods. And these essentially are designed for people who ride bikes or go running, that kind of stuff. They're not designed for everyday kind of normal people. <laughs> Cyclists aren't normal. They take their lives in their own hand every day, as do runners. Running and cycling have got to be probably the two most dangerous sports I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> well, you're laughing at Paul Donaldson. What did he say, Paul Donaldson? I will take this speedboat and my bendy bully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh there, Paul Donaldson. Um, Don't you say that? Yeah, one of my friends who I work with in um, the BBC, he actually used to work on Bullseye, and he was one of the people who actually used to push out the speedboat or the car or the uh, the cordless telephone or whatever it was that they'd won. So yeah, we uh, we know all about what goes on or went on at Bullseye. Richie Reed, Rich. Mm -hmm. Richie Rich, he, oh, he rides and races weekly, do you? Well, do you, want, do you want those instead? Let me know, and if you want those instead, I'll do another draw for the others. <laughs> he even dropped his mac and cheese. Oh, damn. Richie Rich must be super fit. I-21 TWS should exist. They should. Right, what time is it? Sam 610. Sam 610? What's going on in my chat? It's all gone wrong. Hey, Sam 610. Hey, everybody, check out Sam 610's channel. He's got some pretty cool stuff on there. There's some other stuff on there, which is probably not so cool, but generally, it's all pretty cool stuff. Christoph, I should be asleep. It's almost morning. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Sam, I'm good. We're good. How are you? How are the family? You all keeping good? Is that little boy of yours driving you insane with his RC toys? Or are you just... I think you're the big kid, really, and you're just, like, dragging him into it just so you can play with the cars. I think, that's, I think that is the secret. <laughs> What's that? Sean Combs is a different I think so. Oh, click tech, that's that's good of you. Sub to Sam ten. The light still works, doesn't it? The disco light. No. Does it not? I don't think so, I don't think it's even on. Is it? Oh yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, I think it probably is. Why? It's supposed to, I don't know. We haven't done it since he did it on Yeah, I think, yeah, the last time we did it, or it came on, was the last time that you did it. On New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve that would have been, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alessa says it seems funny that it's late in other countries, it's only 4.53 p.m. here in Ohio. Ohio. In Ohio, words is getting really hard for me today. Remember New Year's Eve, wasn't it? We were in 2019 and she's still 20. Oh, yeah, yeah, New Year's Eve. Uh, Aletta was back in 2018 and we were time traveling all the way into the future at 2019. Oh, Peanut's got some friends. Oh, Peanut's got some friends, Peanut the hamster. Oh, wow. Thank you, Sky Stalker. Hey, it still works. Hey, Google, turn off the studio lights. Yeah, no, I'll turn that one off as well. Okay, turning three lights off. There we go. Sky Stalker, you get your light show. There we go. Everyone else gets darkness, you get your light show. Thank you very much for the, uh, the super chat. Much appreciated. God bless you, Mary Poppins. 
I can't remember how long it goes on for. Oh, about that long. Hey Google, turn on the studio lights. Sure, turning three lights on. Hey. There's home automation for you right there, everybody. And thank you so much, Skystalker, for the uh, the super chat. Appreciate it. So, um, oh, what was I going to say? Sam 610s, these AirPod videos bring tons of views. I can't believe it. Do you know what? I can't either. i got to be honest with you, when I started this out, I've always been the kind of person who just, I listen to anything on anything, I don't really care. But now I've started using these AirPods, I do genuinely notice the difference between good ones and bad ones. And I actually did a, like a Pepsi challenge the other day and put in the old, um, well, I can't grab them, but the old wired Apple uh, headphones, you know, the original ones with the little controller on. And they sound absolutely awful. But back in the day, I remember me using them kind of every day, listening to the music whilst I'm driving to the car or talking to Calf on the phone while I was driving. And they always sounded really, really good. But you compare those now with any of the AirPods, in fact, and it's a completely, completely night and day situation. Whether or not they're worth it still is another thing altogether. For me, some of the other ones are a little bit on the expensive side for what they are. Oh, I just realized the auto white balance on the camera got freaked out, didn't it? So anyway, yeah, that's where we're at with that. So well, we've got some more people come in. So Hurricane Alfie. Hello, do you remember me? Um, possibly. I'm not too sure. Is that the name you went by before? Because if so, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Calf, refresh my memory. Sorry. Hurricane Alfie. It kind of rings a bell, but I don't know why. We, we hear, and we do hear from a lot of people. There's some people that we hear from on a quite a regular basis, so their names stick. But I honestly, I don't recall. Uh, doo -doo. Even Guterres, the only YouTuber that actually responds to viewers. Who, me? Hurricane Alfie is the first ever vid, but I'm not really here for every vid. So I'm new to that. Ah, Hurricane Alfie. You must have changed his name. You changed name. No. I'm not a father. Ryan P, I literally commented on his video, didn't expect him to reply to me. Yeah, and Kaf too. That is the thing, I do get a lot of grief for it actually from other YouTubers in the community that I do spend too much time replying to everybody. And I do, even if it's the video that I made the first ever video, which was the Karcher wet and dry vacuum. Yes, love that video, that was so sick. But even now, if people ask me a question on it, I'll still answer it. And generally, I try and answer all questions within at least 48 hours so people don't kind of think I've dissed them or anything. If, if you are someone who's watching and you've asked me a question and I haven't answered it for any reason, I totally apologize. I get a lot of questions and I do genuinely try and go through every single one. I use the, um, the YouTube Studio app on my phone. And my phone has got a weird thing because I put a new screen on it. And sometimes if I tap on the answer, tap on the question to go to answer it, it swipes it across and deletes it. So of course then I don't know who you are because I'm just about to click on it. So I don't know what the question is. So please, 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 if you have asked a question and I haven't answered it, please send me the question again or redo the question, but do it as a new question rather than like a sub question in a thread. Because sometimes those questions get lost in sub threads and it's like, some of the other guys in the area do have their own channel will probably validate that, that sometimes it just, the questions get lost in there and it's just like, oh my God. And you haven't got the time to go through expanding all the questions all the time. So you want to try and answer as many questions as possible, but sometimes it's difficult and things are stacked against you. So what I'm saying is if you, if I haven't answered, I'm not being rude. I'm not disrespecting you. I just, either I haven't seen it or I've accidentally deleted it, in which case I don't know 
who you are to kind of ask the question again. So I do apologize if that has happened for any reason. Uh, Marco420, how late am I? Um, I don't know. How long have we been going, Kath? I can't even tell. Um, if I have a look at there, you're about an hour and a half late. It's fine. It's cool to be late. It's, um, yeah, it's a, like a, a casual entrance. <laughs> Uh, Richie Rich, I'm headed to the BMX track. Oh, you're on a BMX as well. Oh. Sorry. I love BMX. I've got an old school BMX literally outside that window at the moment. An old uh, GT Dyno, if you know what that is, if you're into your retro BMXs. Anyway, moving on. Uh, right, what have I missed? Have I missed any questions while I was ranting? Richie, you're welcome. Have they both got their confirmation emails from us? Uh, shoot me an email back just so I know you've got mine. Calf send in the confirmation emails now, I believe. Are you doing that now? Yeah. Yeah, Calf's all over it. She's... Numero uno. So have they... Uh, Night Sean, thanks, uh, thanks for taking part. Thanks for commenting and all that sort of stuff. And good luck next time, which there definitely will be a good uh, next time because I've got to get rid of some of this stuff because I can't move. I've got loads of stuff down here as well. So they both, you ask them if they've both received ours. So right, Calf says she sent the confirmation email, so if you've received them, just uh, let us know in the comments or just reply back to the email. And we know it is you. Uh, Aletta says, I love when you replay, Mike. That is why I become such a fan. Thanks, Aletta. I'm not sure what replaying means. Oh, reply. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, these things are straight over my head sometimes. God bless you. <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay. Ryan P says, wait, is that all the giveaways? Skystalker says it must be 9 p.m. in the UK. No, it's uh, wait, 10, 10 p.m. I thought it was later than that. Was that the Carlsberg? That was the Carlsberg. <laughs> yeah. Those air two, Shatkan says, those air two are mine. Well, when the giveaway happened, Shan, you've got to be a ex-veterinary. No, not a veterinary, that's an animal doctor. You've got to be a veteran. Easy mistake to make, we all do it. <laughs> Calf is actually ruffling over there. Sorry, veterans, if I've kind of mixed you up with oh, people who put their hands up cow's bums. You know what I mean. The Air 2 is a special thing designed specifically for ex-military veterans or first responders, all that kind of stuff. So, Sean, you can't be one of those, I don't think. Maybe. Maybe you are, I don't know. Uh, Michael says he's got the email from CAF. I can't even pronounce this one. Uh, Radmeyer, is that Radmeyer? Radmeyer? Radmeyer VIP, I want the Air 2, please. Well, if you want the Air 2, go to the Air 2 video, comment on it, and let me know you're a veteran of some sort, and give us kind of, I don't know, details of who you were, or service details, I don't know. I'm not military, I don't know these things. Help me, help me please. Um, you know what I mean, just if you, if you want the Air 2s, it is a giveaway for first responders, armed forces, all that kind of stuff, so if you, you fall into that category, stick your details on the video, and when it comes up for the time for the giveaway, I will, I will definitely, definitely um, consider you. Ah, uh, there. Uh, Ragnar VIP, what is left? Mm -hmm. 
so I'm just reading through these comments. Uh, Richie Rich got the email, awesome. So that is Richie Rich done. That is, is that everyone apart from Cameron? Yeah. Cameron, let me down. Um, Cameron, if you're watching this in the replay, not the reply, the replay. Where were you? Where were you? <laughs> oh dear. Darwin Blame is a canine handler. That's dogs for those of you that aren't military. I know my stuff. So Bomb detection with my police department. Do I qualify? Um, well, yeah. If you're if you're still active service, you're of course yeah. active service or veterans. Veterans are the ones that I was really trying to target at that time. I don't know why. It's just a weird thing to just kind of maybe it's like a message from God or something. I don't know, but. That was what I was feeling at the time. But essentially, it's kind of anybody who puts their life on the line for us mortals every day. Like most of us just get up in the morning, jump in the car, go to work, do a nine to five or whatever. But you guys are going out there and literally, you don't know if you're coming home that day. And your family don't know if you're coming home that day. So that's pretty special. You guys. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Or maybe, maybe I'll go. Dijali gets fit. Maybe. Did I just crucify that? Maybe. Uh, which giveaway is this for? Now, we did the giveaway already. It was for the i9 TWS, the i88 TWS, and the i12 TWS in red. Um, red label, sorry. Um... The i10s, people keep on asking about the i10s. I, we need them for testing. Well, there's two reasons. I'm going to go through it again. Some of you have been in the stream all the time. I, I get it. I do apologize, but I do have to keep on repeating this. I do kind of, I make these videos and I do sort of owe it to the people that watch the videos to give them the information. The i10s are really, really good and they sound amazing, but they have inherent problems such as Bluetooth connectivity, which is an issue for some and the charging relay and the actual charging the electronics can be an issue for some people now i use these as my test bench essentially to measure battery life and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> excuse me and i did consider giving them away and i did actually offer them up for giveaway but they have been not so problematic but they have had issues so the last thing i want to do is to give away these to someone who's helped out the channel or been like active in the chat and for you to receive them and then be like upset with them not being very good do you understand what i'm saying this I, I also do still need them to test against the other ones which are inherently better so that that is it really i'm not going to give away i10s purely for the fact that i don't want them to be a problem it's it's, it's all well and good me giving you these and sending them out and the money it costs to send them and all that kind of stuff. But then the last thing I want to be doing is having to support these day in, day out because you can't get a connection or they won't talk to each other or whatever. And then we have to go through the whole kind of thing where I've got to try and get them returned to Nokia's or whoever. It's just a pain and I'm just not, not going to go down that route. I'd rather give you something else that I know works and is not going to be a problem and it's not going to be a problem for me long term because I haven't got time to be dealing with it in all fairness so that is why I won't be giving these away I might do if it's someone local and it's like it's not going to be an issue but I don't want it to be a, a problem and like I said I do still need them for some testing purposes so there we go um, yeah Ryan P I know what you mean you want to give them a better product instead of a bad product yeah it's, it's not a bad product but I just don't there are issues with the i10s, no matter who you get them from, whether it's like um, Nokia's, Spinning Deal, AliExpress, eBay, whatever it is, no, no matter who they are, if they're i10s, if they're genuine ones, potentially they are gonna have an issue with synchronizing, charging, whatever it may be. So it's, they sound great, and if they work, they're brilliant, but it's when they start having issues or little little, like weird things happening, that is when it goes from being a good experience to being a not so good experience. 
so I don't recommend it. Sky Stalker, Mike, you don't need to support a giveaway, silly. Seriously. <laughs> I'm just, I am. Think about this before I speak. Actually, no, I'm not gonna think about it, I'm just gonna speak. Uh, you'd be surprised what people expect of you as being, a, I wanna say a public figure, but it's not really a public figure in such as that someone on YouTube, people expect you to be available to them kind of 24 seven, answer their questions, fix their computer, sort their AirPods, teach them how to build a computer, all that kind of stuff. Because you try and help people and you try and do whatever, build a community, people assume that you want to do everything. And some people take advantage of it. Some people are really cool and they just ask a couple of questions and they're like, oh, brilliant, thanks, thanks for all your help, you've been great. But some people are just like constant, 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 can you do this, can you do that, can you do this? And you do something and then they say, well, can you do that now? And then it gets to a point where they just expect so much. And there's people that do actually, even if they haven't watched the video, they'll post a question straight on your video that you've just made and say, but how do you do such and such? It's like, you're like, well, I just did that in the video, I'm sure. So then I spend time watching the video and it's like, yeah, that's how to do it. So then I reply, yeah, if you go to such and such in the video, it shows you how to do it. But are, oh yeah, but can you tell me how to do it? It's like, oh. People just expect a lot, seriously. So even though like normal, normal people, like most of you that are in the chat, are kind of fully aware that there's give and take on both sides and all these kinds of things, some people will just take, 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 and it just really does. So you've got to be careful what you actually give away and what you offer in case someone, is, the someone you're dealing with is like that and actually just basically take you for a ride. So. Ah, a technical question. Hey, right, Sam610. I can see why he's asked this question because he's gonna start doing live streaming and taking away all my subscribers. You're a very bad boy, Sam, but I'm gonna help you do it. So <laughs> what you do to get at the bottom where it says, have a question, Mike and Mike's unboxing.com, all that stuff where it says live, essentially in OBS, what you do is create an image in Photoshop or paint or whatever, make it the size of your stream. So I'll do a 1080 stream. So make the image 1920 by 1080 and then put the information where you want on the picture. And then in OBS, you just shrink the box around it so actually, I wonder if I could show you. I will show you. So you press the Alt button and then you can drag that out. So now you've probably got a bit of a white bar on the screen, which is essentially just the background of the image. Yeah, you can see it on calf screen. So all you do is just shrink it to the size of your image. Oh, but don't move the original one in the background because that's really bad. Oh no, there we go. So, there we go, <laughs> That's, that should be back to normal now. There we go, on the fly, live OBS demonstration. That's not very nerve wracking. Hopefully you get the idea. Uh, Ivan Gutierrez, I got to go, wish I could stay more, but I can't, love the vids and love the channel. Thank you, Ivan. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for being part of the community, and thanks for uh, thanks for watching the videos. You too, sir, are very awesome, as are all of you that are watching. Matthew says, legend Mike, keep up the good vids, see you soon. Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate your, uh, your comments and being in the chat. Aletta, I've tried OBS, but I can't get anywhere with it. I've got to be honest with you, OBS is quite a steep learning curve. Even now, like I've got this set up to work. You can guarantee when I disassemble all this, unplug my capture card, take it all apart, all my microphone on that, I'll come back to do the next live stream and it'll be like, why the hell is my mic not working now? And it's just, it is really glitchy. Ideally, if you just leave it exactly as it is, like a, a, a studio would be, just walk away, leave it, turn it off, come back in, turn it back on, Generally, it'll be absolutely fine, but as soon as you start unplugging stuff and USB and it just goes mental. I I had my uh, Logitech camera set up, which is on top of the screen, which is outside of the shot, and um, I can't get that to display 10, 
1080p for love nor money. It just will not do it. But uh, those of you that have watched the streams before, when I used to do the multiple camera shots, that was with that camera. But it won't do it now for some reason. It's just driving me insane. Anyway, Sam, hopefully that has uh, answered your question. So, yeah, create a an image, add it to your scene, layer it so that it's on top of your scene, and then, yeah, do whatever. Uh, da -da -da. Richie Rich, not Richie Rich. No, he's going. Oh, he's going BMX, isn't he? You've been doing it since the 80s, Richie Rich. I, I, miss, I must have missed that. Oh. I was trying to think. I, Richie Rich, I am, at some point on this channel, I'm going to get a Harrow Freestyler, a restored Harrow Freestyler. So look forward to the day that happens. That is going to be a thing. Oh, bless Richie Rich, he's awesome. TSN 1400 gaming channel. Hi Mike, just, just wanted to thank you. Helping picking. Oh, I must have missed something there. Jimmy Lopez, guys, let's get Mike to 10K subs. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not about the subs, it's about enjoying yourself. If it was all about the subs, I'd have stopped doing this years ago. Well, not years ago, because I've only done it two years, but you get what I mean. Ah, picking the right motherboard for his Ryzen 7 2700X build. I get it now on TSN 1400 Gaming Channel. <laughs> oh, dear. Evan's going. Sam610, what camera do you use? Uh, the camera on there is the Lumix G7, which is a great camera, but it serves a great purpose because it's got HDMI out, so I can run the HDMI feed into a capture card or capture device, the Elgato, straight in there and stream. And the camera, I don't know, I'm not sure, the bit rate at the moment I've got set quite low because our internet, <coughs> it, the internet in general is good because we've got those uh, tender boxes, but the actual upload speed for uh, Virgin Media, who we're with, is really really poor so um yeah the bit rate is only about three and a half um yeah three and a half megabits per second or megabytes per second megabits megabytes yeah whatever it is 3500 kb so it's not the greatest of pictures but it should be pretty sharp Sky Stalker, thanks for all the great content, Mike. Kath, you are a legend also. She is a legend in her own lifetime. Oh, Ryan P is asking, oh, actually, sorry, I'll skip one then. Aletta, a friend just stopped and gave me some Burger King chicken nuggets for replacing the keyboard on his laptop. I work cheap. <laughs> Did you get a selection of uh, dips as well? Because you've got to have dips with nuggets. Oh, actually, Burger King ch chicken nuggets. I haven't had Burger King chicken nuggets in years. Since about the 90s. Yeah, probably since, like... 98? I think Clinton was still in charge back then. Well, I say in charge, he was in okay. the White House. <laughs> we'll talk no more about the cigar. Mike, can you send a giveaway to North African countries? Um... I guess I can. I don't see any reason why not. I don't think that's a problem, is it? I don't know. Maybe postage is uh, prohibitive. I don't know. Anything is possible. Uh, Sam, that's really cool, but I bet it was expensive. Um, it... Yes, it is an expensive camera. At the moment, it's about $400, I believe, in the US with the kit lens, which is a lot for a camera, but you think of how much you spend on mobile phones and point and shoot cameras and maybe camcorders. When you take that into consideration, it's actually really, really flexible and great value for money. In fact, the Lumix G7 
is probably, apart from the Canon uh, A70D, is probably, those two are probably the, the two most used cameras on YouTube, from what I can tell. Hurricane off has got to go. See you later, buddy. Uh, Marco 410, <coughs> would you recommend a beefier B450, better power delivery, or an X470 for the lower end of the spectrum? Um, good question, really. I suppose it depends what you're doing with it. If you're not overclocking to crazy, crazy limits, the B450 is going to be fine for pretty much all the chips up to and including the, the Ryzen 7 1700. Uh, Ryzen 7 2700. The 27X, what are you laughing at now? What the, oh, Cap 7. Mike needs more beer, it probably does. Um, I think the, if you're going for an X CPU, which uses the extra wattage and can be overclocked a bit more, then you might be better off getting a board with better VRMs and better power management, but realistically, most boards work in a very very similar way unless you get down to really really minute detail like Kaft's got the uh, ASRock B450 Pro 4 and that board's a demon and it does actually better overclocking than the ASUS X370 which is in that machine and my video editing machine so that's a B450 out doing an X370 make that what you will and actually ASRock is deemed as being a budget brand that was a budget board and the Prime Pro is kind of like a mid-range board so make of that what you will. I don't know. The gets fit one. Gets fit. Oh, I've missed loads of questions, I think. <laughs> the gets fit. Dijal? Dijal, that might be it. I don't know. Um, I know it's not an appropriate question, which is why I'm going to answer it. Uh, I was wondering how old you were when your hair started to drop. <laughs> What a wonderful question to have on a Sunday evening to make you feel good about yourself. Um, I've always, always had very kind of quite thin hair. Uh, even from kind of my very mid to late teens, I suppose. And being that my hair was pretty much jet black and having sometimes when you don't have any sun, you get a very pale complexion. So black on blonde, uh, black on white kind of shows through. So it always looked quite thin and using things like hair gel and all that kind of stuff as people did in the 80s and early 90s kind of only went to emphasize that more so really so um i don't know i think it started mostly i would say in my late 20s would you say calf late 20s early 30s probably about by no actually 30 kids, about mid -20s. yeah like mid 20s is when it started to go more so and eventually i got to about Ooh, I don't know, probably about 37, then I started shaving it off, 38 maybe. <laughs> Hopefully that answers your question. Sam 610's drinking a beer. I'm not, Calf, can you grab me a beer please? Bless you, I would do it, but it's rude. Good one, thanks. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Right, Reese, or Riz, Riz. Five five five. Dar is oh actually better price they cost twenty bucks. I've missed something out. Oh a letter that was the one I was looking at. I've got the B four fifty MSI Gaming Pro Carbon and it's awesome. You know, I think most B four fifty boards are more than adequate for most people's usage. Um, some boards obviously got better feature sets than others, but really most B four fifties are pretty pretty awesome. Paul Donaldson, what about some retro game chat? Have you played Resident Evil 2 Remake? No, I haven't actually. I never really got into the Resident Evil franchise. I never, because I always started off playing um, Counter-Strike, I was always very much first person shoot em up, so keyboard mouse scenario. So trying to play Resident Evil, which is essentially an FPS on a, a joystick, I just didn't have the reactions for it. So I didn't really enjoy it. But having said that, I have used a joystick more recently 
and I think with a little bit of auto aim, I'd probably be able to play it. So I might give it a go. Is it any good? Let me know. Uh, Seaman Knight says, in theory, X Force MT should be better and should be some deals on them with the new boards coming out. Yes, the uh, the X550, I think it's going to be a 550, and X570 boards are, I think, actually, I looked at the news just before I started the stream, and um, Biostar and Azrock have both announced new um, X570 boards and pricing, I believe. I need to check that out in a little bit. Right, that was, we're going to go on to another thing now, because this is actually something I am considering doing, because in my head, I know all of the best practices for leading a healthy lifestyle. And potentially, I know of a way of getting my hair back. So let me know, is that something that you would be interested in watching? Another channel where I go through a health regime to get myself hit, hitter, to get myself fitter and healthier and try and restore my hair. Would that be something that you would like to see? He says, drinking beer. Um, Dijali gets fit, says, thank you friends. And the question, I'm 19 years old and my hair was so thick, but lately it's getting thinner and it's started to drop. I'm so nervous about it, to be honest. My hair is one of my good points, lol. Oh, bless. Um, hair loss generally is attributed to a couple of things. One, hormones, and others is things like stress or hereditary stuff. But they're beginning to show that the, her her the hereditary stuff actually isn't a thing. It's more to do with your um, hormones. So if you make too much of a certain hormone, you actually block the hair follicles and they die and your hair falls out. So you need to look at your diet, see what you're eating that is creating that imbalance of hormones, get your hormones balanced, get your diet sorted and get your digestion sorted and your hair will be able to grow. Now, I've actually seen someone, if you um, this is actually someone who inspired me. This is um, the Vegetable Police. Check out his channel. And he has gone through the mill from different diets to get whatever he wants. He was similar to me where he had this whole bold thing going along here. And now he's got hair which looks amazing. So Vegetable Police. It's actually a comedy channel on health. But actually you can learn a lot. And... <laughs> Oh dear. Is that Carlsberg? Yes, it is Carlsberg. And this is about to start to turn white the day she was born. I was going to try Coca Cola, but it hasn't worked out for uh, a certain kitchen tech. So I thought I'd try Carlsberg. And being that it's brewed in the UK, you never know, they might throw me a deal. Letter. Her father's hair started turning white the day she was born. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> Mostly it's genetics, uh, Dijal says. It is genetics, but you can actually change it. You can adjust your hormone balance to defy your genetic makeup. It's true. I've seen it on the internet. Sky Stalker says, that would be one heck of a strange channel, Mike. If you're happy with the way you are, then great. If you want to change, then that is good too. Yeah, it's, I, um, it's a difficult thing. I, in my younger days, I went through phases where I was kind of on a bit of a fitness thing and I tried to watch what I was eating. And I just go through things like that and it's like up and down, one minute my weight's up, next minute it's down, I'm fit, I'm not. I'd just like to be a bit fitter and a bit healthier. And I think as you get older, that becomes more and more important. And harder. And harder. Heineken. 
Someone said Heineken. Reese says Heineken is better. I can't believe how many comments I've had on the Carlsberg. My kid, <laughs> excuse me, oh dear. Sorry, just reading these comments, you guys are crack me up, you really do. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. Okay, so is there anybody in the chat at the moment, as we're gonna wrap things up now, the Zulu audio headphones in black or white do we have any takers? Any interest? Going once, going twice. Or if not, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna go up to the uh, the Salvation Army and give them to someone up there. Caleb says I want black. <laughs> Chris Davis, yes me. Yay! So people. Oh, so there are some people who. Oh, Kath, here we go. Write them down again. Right, let's get rid of those so we don't get confused. Right, we'll do, we'll do this fair and square. Calf's gonna write down your name. So if you want, the name, if you want the Zulu audio headphones, now if you're not sure what these are, I, I have done a video on it, but essentially they are Bluetooth speakers that you wear on your clothing. So you put the strap around the back of your neck, you have a speaker on each side of you, and there's a magnet which goes underneath your clothes to keep them in place so you can go running, uh, cycling, ninja jitsu, I don't know, whatever you want to do, skateboarding, or even just walking, hiking, stuff like that, you can wear them, and basically they won't fall off. I tried to make them fall off and they won't fall off. Oh God, right, I just thought now we've got two pairs, haven't we? We've got the white ones and we've got the black ones. This giveaway lark's hard work. Um, <laughs> Carlsberg giveaway. Oh, Paul Donaldson's playing Mario Kart. I, I could be playing Mario Kart instead of doing this. Damn it. Help me, help me. Right, okay, first of all, start with, right, let's take the black ones off the table. Right, if you would like the Zulu Audio wearable Bluetooth speakers in white, I mentioned it is white, definitely the white ones, if you want these, put in the comments now, Zulu White. That sounds terrible in like some weird way. Just put it in the comments. Send Skystalker, you say sending them to Canada would be rather silly. I missed I missed something. Did I? No. Nah. <clears throat> so right, so in a moment we've got Chris Davies. Oh, Alright, hang on. Calf's getting her paper ready. She likes making lists. If you looked around the outside of the studio, you'll see there's lists everywhere that Calf's created for me to adhere, adhere to. Right, 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 Chris. Right, okay, hang on, I've got to scroll back up. So, uh, right, Zulu Whites, this is the final shout now. So, we've got Chris Davies. Come on, calf, keep up. Sorry about this, people. Do bear with. We are trying to give stuff away here. It's not easy giving stuff away. Bring back uh, Glean. Right, Chris Davis. Right, Chris Davis. Uh, Reese 555. Yeah. TSN 1400. Gaming channel. 
wonder what kind of channel his is. <laughs> Michael Ch Michael Crump's in there again. No. <laughs> I can't let you have two another lot. That would be bad. You ready? Right, um, so next one, uh, Caleb N. Yeah. Uh, Dijal gets fit. I just put gets fit, right? Yeah. Paul Donaldson. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, Mayhoss Me. Someone's put Zumba right. That's Darwin. You crazy fool. Uh, don't stress. Da, 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 da. I think that the is. Shan. I think that's it. Does Shan Can want them? Shan Can, are you in? Are you in for the um, the white, the white Zulu audio speakers? I think that is, it's been, nah mate, nah mate, ain't wearing them, do you think I am bled? Fam looks stupid in that, innit? I know, me, me horse me says don't count me in. Right, Kath is putting all the names through the, uh, Unbox computer, which, um, is, which will be assembling all the d information for the required jewel. Like yeah. Me, ho <laughs> me, host me. I've got too many headphones. Yeah, welcome to my world. Do you know what? It's actually really difficult for me because. I normally have a set of AirPods either by the side of the bed or by the computer, which are like my daily drivers. But these days, because they all keep on getting, excuse me, they all keep on getting sent new ones and they're getting better and better. It's like, right, these are my daily drivers. Then the week after it's like, right, these can be my daily drivers. So I don't have a daily driver. Okay, calf to the rescue. Right, so this is gonna be the draw for the Zulu audio in Vice. Actually, I better not say in German because that gets awkward for the next one. Okay, so the winner is Reese five five five. You are the lucky winner, my friend. So come on, everyone, give it up for Reese, lucky boy. Or girl, could be a girl, I guess. Reese, no, be a boy. So you need a drill. Send an email to. Hey, that works, doesn't it? Send it. No, wrong end. Send an email to myexamboxing.com and with some sort of proof of who you are or whatever. And uh, obviously, send your contact details as well. And then Kath receives it. She will send you a confirmation in return. And I'm going to be taking all this stuff down the post office next week. Which hopefully I can put this down as expenses for the tax man as uh, tax deductible. 401k, everyone. I don't think that's the same thing over there, is it? Right, so there's that one. <clears throat> Gonna sweat on. This is why I need to do a health channel. <laughs> Reese, yeah, I'm a boy. Yeah, you're a lucky boy as well, because you got some headphones, not these ones, Bang those ones. Ass. Got some banging cans to stick around your neck. Okay, so, Kath, you better have those back because you might have to rewrite those anyway. Okay, so this is the last one now, definitely the last one. Although we are gonna be giving, there is another giveaway which we're gonna do at the very end, but that one is pre-planned anyway, which we, I know about, Kath knows about. We've discussed it and we're just gonna do it. The, uh -huh. <laughs> they can hear that. 
because I got a microphone. It doesn't matter if I do that, because they can still hear. Can you still hear me? I bet you can't. Even though I'm covering my mouth, you can still hear the words. Sometimes I am such a dick. <laughs> Quite a lot of the time. I love you. Oh, bless me. <laughs> San, Shan, oh, San Can says, Calf, you are a legend. Banging cans. <laughs> nope, we can't hear you. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear, we can't hear nothing. No, okay, good. Oh man, I'll tell you what, it's not even summer yet and I'm sweating right now. Huh? Yeah, we give the cats away. I'm just going to sweep all my hair back out of my eyes a minute. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> okay, people. Come on. Right. Last lot. Zulu Audio. Beats Not by Dre. In black. Who wants them? In the comments section. Type it in. Zulu Black. Oh my god, that sounds even worse. Just, just do it. Just do it. Let's, let's get it over with quickly. <laughs> they all want Carls Carlsberg. I can't give Carlsberg away because that's alcohol. And there's rules and regulations, but... Put your name in the comments with the story out. <laughs> Oh god, there's Lou's going for the Zulu Black Calf. You're going to need a bigger pen. Right, okay. I'll just get right in. Sky Stalker, more beer from Mike. He's starting to get interesting. Hey, screw you. I was interested in two hours ago. What time is it? Yeah, two hours ago. This is one of those long ones again. I feel like Kerry Holzman all over again. I need to take my PC apart and not be able to fix it. <laughs> I can't help it. He's my hero. Your man crush. I have got a bit of a man crush on Kerry Holzman. I've got to be honest with you. Yeah. I feel like I need to go to Alcoholics Anonymous. Hi, my name's Mike, and I've got a crush on Kerry Holzman because he's just like my favourite tech. <laughs> Did more on that bit. Um, DJ, right, oh, hang on, sorry, I got, well, I'm going to have to scroll back up to see all these things in a minute, but I'll answer some questions, I think. Um, Mike, if you have a useless old PC that can run CS 1.6, give away it to me. <laughs> An old PC 1.6, wonder what would that be? So that'd be like a Pentium 4 or an Athlon XP, maybe. Hmm. Hmm, interesting theory. I might have something up my sleeve for that. Okay, right, let's go back to the uh, Black Zulus. And what are we needing right now? Do, 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 do. Right, do, do, do. Right, Chris Davies. You've already done that one, so you can reuse that one. Yeah, I did. So, Chris Davies, um, Caleb. Ricardo Coriella. I'd probably did I just butcher your name, Ricardo? I apologize if I did. What's the name? What are you doing? Right. Uh, Ricardo, we've got Ryan P, uh, Glenn, Ryan P, Glenn, I'm sorry, I think I deleted Darwin Blaine's message. Oh, okay. Right, you've got Glenn? Yeah. Okay, uh, TSN 1400 gaming channel? TSN. Yeah. Uh, did do, do. Reese five five? No, we can't do Reese five 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 again. We've already done one. He wants black Carlsberg. You can Carlsberg black. Wow. Uh, John Johnson. Yeah. Paul Donaldson. Yeah. For peanut and hamster. <laughs> uh, that'd be good. Oh. oh damn! I've lost my place. 
uh, click tag, Sky Stalker. Okay, message deleted, oh, view deleted message. Yeah, I did it. I've uh, got it. Okay. Um, Kerry, a letter says, Kerry's okay. I've learned a few things from him. I have actually. He is. There is something really addictive about watching Kerry Holzman. It's kind of. I don't always agree with what he says, and I think he probably milks his uh, his training or his work a little bit. But actually, some of it is it is quite fascinating. Uh, see any more? Any more? <laughs> we are going to give away the house at the end of this. Sure did. I sure did, mate. Oh, I did. I did um, butcher Ricardo's name. Sorry about that. Uh, I think that is it. Michael says, uh, thanks for being generous. Hey, no worries. Gets fit, did you hold Gets fit. Uh, gets fit was in it already, wasn't he? He was, was he? I think so. You didn't say him again. I didn't. Right, last calls. Everybody, has everybody been, has everybody's name been called out? Ryan P. You got Ryan P? <laughs> Ryan P, yeah. <laughs> a letter's waiting for a beer giveaway. A bit, do you know what? Actually, giving away beer is a really, really difficult thing to do because we did actually look into it. At Christmas time, we were going to give away a selection of English beers or British beers to certain um, subscribers and stuff like that. But it's actually really, really expensive because of like, import taxes and weird stuff because it's alcohol content. You would not believe how difficult it is if you actually tell them what it is in there. And they always ask. But if you don't tell them, chances are they're going to stop it anyway. So, okay. Uh, Daily Era, that's another one. Daily Era? Yeah. <laughs> PewDiePie needs to join this stream. Yeah, I'm. That would, imagine if PewDiePie's crew were in this stream, it would be insane. I definitely, definitely have to put the uh, comments on slow mode. Right, my host me has got a joke. Go on, let's go on, let's have it. This had better be good, because you're interrupting a live giveaway right now. Jonathan Tran says hello. Greetings. Uh oh. Moderate um, thingy overtones. Why couldn't the blonde add? 10 and 5 on a calculator. Tell him I'm blonde. Kath is blonde and she will come over there and she will laugh, laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> come on, we're all waiting now. Not you, Kath. My house. Or my my house, me. Oh no. Hey, there's the pussy cat. Hello, pussy cat. Get your scraggy ass out of my shot. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> Sky Stalker says, what you and Calf do is a really cool thing. Thanks. Well, thank you. Live streaming would be terrifying for most mortals. The truth is, um, <clears throat> it kind of is, but it isn't. You do have to be a bit mindful of what you say, though. Luckily, I'm a very good boy and I'm brought up well. So I don't say things are bad. Um, anyway, moving on. Right, so. Here are all the names. Oh, and that one. The joke? Yeah, we haven't had the answer to the joke yet. Oh, she couldn't find the 10 button. Dear God, tumbleweed. Actually, we do live in a very, very weird time at the moment where there's generations of people who, for, like for me, generations, I grew up in the sort of 70s and 80s where uh, you could pretty much make a joke about anything, any person, any color, any creed, any religion, any race, whatever. It didn't make a difference. You could take a business. 
out of a handicapped person, whatever, it just didn't matter. You could just make fun of anybody and everybody did it to everybody. Whereas now we live in a really kind of a sensitive era where we kind of, there's a whole group of people or a race or not race, there's a whole um, age group of people who haven't been exposed to that kind of thing. So when they are exposed to it, it's a real shock to the system. And it's kind of weird, you actually have to really, really be careful what you say in case you do offend someone in an unintentionally because of what you've been brought up in the kind of, what you've been exposed to, is kind of what, guess what I'm saying? <laughs> Glenn's saying, careful, Mike. Yeah, it is, it's one of those things, you do have to be genuinely quite careful about what you say. It's, it gets worse, like, you see some of the older comedians on TV who make jokes who are a little bit like, ooh, do they just say that? And to them, it's completely natural because they've grown up doing it all their lives and they've always been surrounded by people in that same kind of, uh, not mentality, but with, with that same kind of thing. So when they're exposed to a younger audience, it's a, it is a real shock to the system. Wait a minute, I silence. <clears throat> I silence during bling. Did you? Yeah. How did you do that? Um, how long for? Oh, Darwin, do apologise. Calf um, accidentally silenced you for some reason. I think she was trying to do something else and accidentally did that, so our apologies. Anyway. Does he want out so the blacks are out? <laughs> M how's me? This is going to be good. Uh, do not be racist. Be like Mario. He's an Italian plumber who was made by the Japanese, speaks English and looks like a Mexican and jumps like a black man and grabs coins like a Jew. I don't care. Wow. <laughs> You've got all the bases covered right there. <laughs> uh, now that is funny because it's not... Got kicked off Twitter. It's, not it, it's not rude. Like I'm not being... Because there's different groups mentioned in there, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at those groups. I'm laughing because it's a kind of a stereotypical joke about all of those groups. It's, it's a weird thing these days. It's, it really is a weird thing. Right. Okay. Jonathan Tran asks, how do I answer the giveaway? Is it too late? Uh, Jonathan Tran, how do I answer the giveaway? Uh, Jonathan Tran, this is the giveaway for the um, the Zulu audio in black. So if you're very, very quick, we can add your name to the list if you want to win those. Uh, if you're after the TWS headphones, they've gone already, I'm afraid. Aleta got banned from Twitter. Hey, Ninja47's in the house. Hey, how you doing? And I'm That Guy is back. Did you put in my name? Deja Gets Fit. Did we put that one in? Gets Fit, yeah. Gets Fit is in there, yes. People today are too easily offended. It is, yeah. I, but then I do the same thing myself. I watch a video on YouTube with something I disagree and immediately I'm like a keyboard wire typing away, blah, 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 send. And by the time I've sent it, it's like, ah, oh, damn. I shouldn't have sent that. But then it's too late, and then someone else has answered back, and then this whole kind of thing rolls out of control, and then you offend them, they offend you, everyone's offended, and it's like, ah. Whereas back in the old days, it'd be like, huh, you're a dick. No, you're a dick. Okay. Right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So the winner for the Zulu Audio wearable Bluetooth speakers in black is Mr. Paul Donaldson. So yeah. Peanut is going to have a whole new headset, which actually probably is heavier than Peanut, but that should be fun. We definitely want to see pictures of that. Party with his new so Paul Donaldson, well done to you. Congratulations. And if you could do us the honours of sending an email to mikeandmikesunboxing.com and Kath will answer it and get all your details on there and these will be winging their way to you in the post and has he got my t-shirt on? yeah are you wearing your t-shirt today? because we, 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 we sent you one of these t-shirts so you better be wearing that today out of respect anyway Paul Donaldson congratulations well done mate and also thank you very much for being a, a part now, Ashley, is uh, C. McKnight still here? 
Seam at Night still in the chat? Moderating away? Yeah, unlucky everybody, sorry about that. I wish I could give you all something I really genuinely do, but I will eventually. Stick with the channel long enough and you'll get something out of it. Darwin Blame, I would like a t-shirt for my silence period. Well, uh, t-shirts are available from... Is it, should I do the link? <laughs> I think it's Tees Mill, possibly. I'm not too sure. We are going to be doing a, a new bunch of t-shirts soon with various humorous slogans on, which you may or may not be interested in. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, bless. You guys are all great. you got some, actually... Uh, there's people in the chat now, Skystalker Ninja, Letta, uh, Darwin, Skystalker, Paul Donaldson, Ryan, loads of others of you who have actually been around with us for a long time now. So we actually, Kath and myself, we do really appreciate you taking part in this and uh, watching me make a complete fool of myself on a pretty regular basis. Um, I was actually... Oh, Paul Donaldson. Hey, Google. Turn the studio lights off. Okay, turning three lights off. Thank you very much for the super chat, Paul Donaldson. Appreciate it. And you get the light show. <laughs> That's all you get. It's like a fairground ride. You stick your money in, you go around half the time, and that's it. Game over. Hey, Google, turn on the studio lights. Sure, turning on three lights. At least that light stayed on. I didn't think of that one. Anyway. <laughs> Aletta says, you sh oh, you should have put on music. Yeah, actually, I was... Do you know what? If it wasn't for the copyright issues, I would love to put on the Party Boy music from... Um, Jackass, when that goes on, that would be amazing. But I might get into trouble for that. If there's anybody out there who actually is any good on a keyboard or with musical instruments and can do a kind of a little bit of a rip off or knock off of the Party Boy theme, so I can put it along with that, please, please, please get in touch. That would be so, so awesome. Uh, quick question. Oh no, actually, I'm that guy who said, make a shirt saying, be Mario. Only a few people would know. I'm, actually, that's not a bad idea. Be more Mario. That is actually not a bad idea. Aletta says, watching you make a fool of yourself is so much fun, Mike. Oh, happy to oblige. <laughs> Skystalker says he gave you real money. <laughs> yeah, actual English UK pounds. <laughs> What? This guy walking as well. He went to your site and there's some millennial hipster vlogging around your shirt. The British new... Ooh, stream. Can I still catch the end? Yes, you can. This has been going on for ages now. I've been on here, what, two and a half hours? Damn. Well, I haven't done a live stream in ages, so I thought I'd come back with a vengeance and do a long one. And we've given away a few pairs of headphones. Not these ones, because I have to review these still. Actually, we've done pretty well. We've given away, what, five five pairs of uh, headphones, earphones. That's not bad going. I'm just looking to see what else I've got to give away. We're probably doing we'll have to save that for the next one. The next live stream, we'll, we'll do that. We're hoping for a 10K one. Yeah, actually, yeah, we'll probably do a 10K quick stream as well. Ah, Letta plays bass. Or bass, even. <laughs> uh Dijal gets fit when will it be the next live giveaway um it will probably be roughly around the time we get 10,000 subs so i would that's probably about four or five days away no, it's, um, no hang on it's the eighth 
Seven. It'll probably be... Mm. Oh, excuse me. It, it'll be the first week of May, hopefully, so Second. at some point. We're estimating that it'll be around about the 7th or 8th for, for our 10k, which would be nice. Skystalker says, Mike, I went to the link for the t-shirt and there was some millennial hipster with long hair wearing your shirt. I know. That's classic. Get it that was, screen, that was the classic. Yeah, I, actually, I would... Can I get that on the screen? I might be able to. No, you might mess it all up. I could do that. Yeah, you just do it on your surface and turn it around. No, not easily. Actually, yeah, I'm not going to ruin that. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you look on the site with the t-shirts, they're in the classic design. There's also some chicks wearing them as well. So if you're uh, of the male persuasion or of the female persuasion, or maybe you're of the male persuasion but likes to wear chicks clothes, then there is something for everybody. There isn't a gender neutral t-shirt, I guess. Maybe there should be. Times are changing. Right. Um, blah. Darwin Blaine needs to go to work in six hours. Sleep, what sleep? Yeah, I know that feeling. Mike says, bass. Sounds like a fish. Sea bass. Psh, sea bass. Richard Corrier says, Air 2 by Nokia's or the Ultimate Super Copies AirPods 2? What is the best choice? Uh, truthfully, I would say for legal reasons, I would say the Air 2 because I think they're the same thing just without the Apple logos on. Um, but I don't have the Apple versions and I probably won't have the Apple versions because they are essentially co counterfeit goods. It's like having a, a Calvin Klein t-shirt which is made by Alvin Klein, that kind of stuff. It's like, really? Like... Yeah. Clone it, yeah. Buy a fake Rolex, but you know it's not it's not a real Rolex, and the chances are, when you're bringing them on through the uh, the the luggage thing or whatever at the airport, you're going to get taken off of you. And we had only it all bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Money for nothing, and Mike's t-shirts for a very reasonable price. Uh, respond to that. Mike, respond to that question by Ricardo. Which one was that? Let me roll back a bit. Ricardo, 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 Ricardo. Oh, I think I just did, didn't I? Did I just answer that? Mike, are the Air 2 by Nokia's or the Ultimate Super Copies? Yes, I think I just did answer that. Did I just answer that? If there's another question, I do apologise. Um, I'm way out of this. Uh, Mayhouse Me's got exams in 32 hours. Well, good luck with your GC Hesse's. Ninja 47, thoughts on the new AMD GPUs and CPUs? Are you excited, although there's not been too much in going on in terms of leaks? Um, yeah, it's... Um, I'm, actually, I'm glad someone's asked that. We are getting super, super close to the AMD release of both the 50th anniversary CPU and GPU, which essentially is a 2700X with a etched signature from Lisa Su, um, who's the kind of the CEO, or not CEO, the kind of the head of AMD. Whether or not it's gonna have any extra tweaks, I'd imagine it's gonna be a bin chip, so it's gonna be a bit faster, get a few, bit more, um, bit more megahertz out of it, more top end more boost or whatever. So I'm struggling for the word there. Uh, the graphics card wise, we, I think from what we can tell at the moment, we're getting a golden or a red and gold Radeon 7, which, mm, yeah. Some people, that's gonna be a good thing. I don't think it is, it's a little bit too late. A little bit too little, too late for that. I think most people are gonna wait for Navi, which is gonna be mm -hmm. coming up hopefully the month after. And also Ryzen 3000 stuff, which, most people, I think, are going to be super, super pumped for, and we're really, really looking forward to see what AMD do. I've got a few, a few pound notes put to one side for a new, uh, a new kit. When once we see what comes out, I'm looking at updating my video editing rig because it's starting to show a little bit of age. So it'd be nice to update that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. At the moment, nothing's really uh, set in stone. So yeah, let's see what happens. What are you looking at? Calf's, Calf's looking at pictures of um, Paul Donaldson's uh, peanuts, his hamster. 
I was trying to work out what was going on, but it looks like some sort of rotor stack thing going on. And what's that? Heinz? There. Yeah. Mini breadsticks. Oh, mini breadsticks. Good choice. Oh, he's going to have a banging cage. Ryan555, I've never won a giveaway. Well, you have now, I think. You did, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Just check in. <laughs> uh, Ryan555. Reese555, five, 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 sorry. Yeah. My eyes are bad. It's Portugal, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's in Portugal? Mm -hmm. Yes, European Union, cheap postage, thank you. Where's the other one? Texas. Texas? Another Texas? Who was in Texas? Probably shouldn't say it out loud, but. Ah, awesome. Oh no, that's Washington. Sorry, private conversation. Probably shouldn't do that whilst having a live stream. But I'm just thinking to myself, postage price, prices. <laughs> I better take my credit card to the post office tomorrow. I'm taking tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Click tech use. Oh, hang on. Uh, Dijal gets fit. Please respond to my question. I'm really tired to write it again. What was your question? I've got to have to, I have to find it now. Hang on a mo. Hang on a mo. Uh, if I might win the, in the next giveaway, what should I have to do to receive the giveaway? It really sucks, this stuff. I don't even own a MasterCard or some. Um, if you want to be in to win, all you got to do is just be an active member of our little community. And when there's a live stream, just jump in and make comments and participate but we can't promise is, to we can't series. yeah we can't promise to give away on every live stream also we can't promise to give away to everybody who enters it is like anything in life is the luck of the draw there's some people who are going to win there's going to be some people that won't win so um yeah not everyone's going to win but if you take part there's a very good chance that you will at some point you may have to wait and it may be a long time but just uh, <coughs> just get involved It really gets to me because I want to give away stuff to everybody, but I'm just an individual human being. Ninja asked, thoughts on new GPUs mm. and CPUs? Are you excited? Yeah, I think I, ju I just Thank answered you. that, yeah. Uh, Click, Tech UK, uh, okay. Click Tech UK, what is in your editing rig right now? Well, at the moment, it is a Ryzen 7 1700X, 16 gigs of RAM, 240 gig, uh, NVMe drive, two terabyte hard drive, and a GTX 1070, which actually is pretty much the ideal setup for editing with Premiere. Although it would be nice because I'm putting in a, a couple of 1080p streams on top of each other, sometimes it'd be nice to have that little bit of extra RAM, 32 gigs, just to iron out. I do like to watch the preview in high quality as much as possible. So I put it on full rather than being on like a three quarters or half. Because um, I like to see what's in focus and what isn't. But hey, more RAM I think is needed. A new processor would be nice. Uh, Glenn's answered it correctly. Yes. Sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> Mihos me, where in the UK are you from? I am from the southwest of England, the the Bristol, as it's known. Sky Stalker, most of us are happy to be here. Well, bless you for that. Uh, I'm going to struggle with this one. Yo, Jose. Montini's, I'll give up on the rest of it. One friend broke his i12 TDBurst hatch. It's not made from metal. No, it's not actually. Very, very few parts of it are made from metal. I think even the, the hinge itself in a lot of them is actually still just plastic with um, a little bit of metal to give it that clicky feel. Skystalker, that is a great rig, Mike. Just more memory should do you. Yeah, I think it is probably right. Uh, Mihos Me, where in the UK are you from? Oh, I did answer. TSN's going. 
TSM, thank you for your comments and uh, have a great rest of your evening. Darwin Blaine, Mike, I have a similar rig but only 8 gigs of RAM. I only game on it. Do you think 16 gig is still overkill for gaming? Um, hmm. It depends. It depends on the games a lot. Um, games now, especially because levels are getting bigger, they tend to load a lot of the mem a lot of the level, not only into the GPU memory for the actual graphics, but a lot of the assets are actually loaded into main system RAM as well. So anything which doesn't fit in there goes to your swap file. <coughs> On your on your C drive or wherever you've set your swap file to be, so most of us are probably fine that in games, especially if you've got other programs running in the background, like Windows just to boot up. Generally, I would say you're looking at about two and a half gigs of your RAM taken up anyway, just processors and stuff. So that only leaves you like six gigs really of RAM to run your games in. So at the moment, prices are really super low. I, today I saw. Um, 8 gigs of RAM for £35, which is what I paid for second-hand RAM, which I thought was an absolute bargain, almost this time last year. So it's like half the price it used to be. So RAM at the moment is super cheap. If you're going to buy some, now is a good time. I can't see it getting much cheaper, especially through the summer when the new Ryzen stuff comes out. People are going to be building systems. There's going to be an increase in RAM. So I think prices, they may stay the same, but I can't see them getting much lower. Maybe down to as little as £30 a gig, uh, for 8 gigs. I think that will be the rock bottom. I can't see it getting any lower than that. That is generally what happens with uh, DDR2 did the same, DDR3 did the same. Maybe sometimes on a special offer as low as £25 for 8 gigs, but I can't see that happening again. I think 30 is pretty much going to be rock bottom. So buy it while it's cheap. It's going to get more expensive no matter what happens. It always does. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. And we're getting towards the bottom of that down. So now is a good time to buy. Yeah, Aletta, Seam at Night, and Glenn have all said the same thing. Um, RAM is really, really cheap. And actually, Seam at Night, seeing as you're, you're back in the, uh, in the chat at the moment, uh, Kath and I actually wanted to give you a little something as well because not only have you, well, you're moderating in the chat tonight, also you've been super, super active on our Discord channel and you've always been there answering questions and even when there's been nobody on the channel, you've still kept on posting stuff away and keeping it going. And for that, uh, Kath and I are going to be sending you a Amazon gift card voucher so you can buy whatever you like and we'll send you that through the Discord server a little bit later on tonight. So. Just wanted to say publicly uh, to everybody, Seam at Night does a fantastic job on our Discord server. He's got so much information. He's always posting bargains. So if you do want to save some money and you're in the UK, join our Discord server and just follow Seam at Night because he's uh, posting bargains all day long, literally all day long. So thank you and awesome work, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, Ty Williams, good evening. Yeah, as Caf says, thanks, see you tonight. We do genuinely, genuinely appreciate everything you do. So I think that pretty much uh, wraps it up, really. What time is it now? I can't even tell. It's quarter, quarter past 11, so you guys in the UK have probably got beds to get to. And those of you that have joined us from around the world, as always, thank you so much for spending your time with us and putting up with me. Not so much putting up with Kath because she is a dream to be with, but I get that dream, not you guys. So you get it on a very small scale. I get it every day. So I'm a little bit lucky in that respect. But anyway, I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to. You guys have been awesome as always. Oh, hang on. Kath said, are you selling AirPod clones? No, but I'm thinking about doing it. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about it. Uh, sorry, I'm Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to. This has been our live stream giveaway, and we will see you in the very next one. Thanks, all of you. It's always that embarrassing moment at the end when you just can't find that button to stop the stream. I need a kill button.
Anyway, night everybody. Be safe, whatever you're doing. I'll find the button now.